I need to get more, more planters going around the place. Also check the amount of power the base currently has. Scanner's not running. Hmm. How much titanium? Yeah, probably not a lot. Oh no, a little bit. We'll take some titanium. Uh, just thinking. Can I build an exterior? Hang on. Hi folks! Hi there. Good afternoon everyone. Well, only just the afternoon. Probably still the morning for a lot of people. Right. Having a quick drink. Also have a look at this potato. I see. I can physically pick up the potatoes. Can I then plant them as well? I can eat them. I guess I need a bigger plot. Okay. So... Do we require any lead? What do we require to build another... Yeah, just six titanium, which we have. Cool. Bear with me a moment. Stepping outside the habitat. Ah, I see. Two solar panels in the way. Well, we can always move them to another roof. Let's deconstruct these two solar panels. Okie dokie. Get rid of the outer screen there. How's everyone doing? You all okay? Welcome indeed. Right. Solar panel here. Ah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Solar panel there. Doing well, Senlix. Good. Good to hear it. And thank you for your help with the video, by the way. Much appreciated. Uh, oh, does it not fit? Oh, no, it does. Ah, will I get away with that, though? Or will it be like, no... Uh, I don't think that counts, does it? Yeah, that's not a double stacked room. That's just a room that's sitting on top of that room. Thank you, Captain Sheepgood. Thank you very much, Captain. <laughs> I know. Um, I did put my head in my hands, Decentrix. Holy shit, I can't spell for Toffee, can I? I genu genuinely cannot spell. Decentrix, uh, Decentrix uh, assisted me with some quality assurance work. I sent a copy of the video that I'd made. And it turns out I can't spell the word military or the word Galapagos, which is a slight problem considering how many times I mentioned the Galapagos Islands in this video, which is quite a few times. So yes, oops, and I still fucked it up. Even in the final render, there's still a misspelling of the word Galapagos. Oopsie daisy. Um, but yes, I'm, I, I dug goofed. Well, that, that's why there are second pairs of eyes, so thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I'm getting goofed on. Yeah, get off. Damn it, Toby. Right, so I can't put a second roof on this? Why not? Why can I not do a second roof? Can I spin it? Does it make a difference? No. I don't know why. Is it because... Oh, is it because that, that area is blocked? And that area there? Let me just move furniture. That's probably why. Well, and th that being said, then I don't necessarily want... Yeah. No, never mind then. What if I were to put... Hang on, what if I was just to put a... Hang on. Just having a think. A vertical... Yeah, how high can I get it with a vertical connector? Oh, evidently I can't. Hang on. Stop killing me. Stop it, please. What happens if I put a ladder there and then try a vertical connector? Does that do anything? Bear with me a second. Up these. No? Thank you, Lord of Rawn. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm feeling good, Burnsdale. Hope you're well. Uh, I'm feeling, um, yes, yeah, much better rested after the work on the latest YouTube project. I'm now taking the time to eat better, so I'm having proper breakfasts. And uh, also, after this stream, I'm going to go for a jog. And generally just try and sort my health out because, yes, my health took a bit, uh, bit of a smacking, I think, over the last seven weeks. Sorry, Lord of Rod. Uh, wait. Oh, my bad. I've gotten confused. Um, thank you, uh, Kara Ray... Sorry. Um, Kra Rayek Gaming, thank you for your sub bomb. 
Sorry, it was that same notification. Sorry, I thought it was Lord Aron again and again. Thank you sincerely, Crap. You're very, very kind to me, sir. Thank you for your sub bomb. And before that, Captain Sheepgood and Leon and Need Needed Four. Thank you all of you. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Bear with me a second. Um. The frame rate is a bit rubbish in the base right now. And I lack the space to store all of these. Do I need these? What is these even for? Hang on. I think this one's just decorative. Stick it in the bin. Uh, the lantern fruit, though. This stuff's useful, isn't it? I think. Oh, God, it's huge. That's what she said. Take a bunch of lantern fruit. Eat some. Crunchy. Hi, th hi there, Colonel Coffee. Hi there, sir. And thank you, Terra. Thank you. Okay. Can I just deconstruct it now? Mm, no. Inventory full. Oh shit, it's a trip. Fuck. Let me do I'll get rid of the rest of the fruit. I don't need to eat all this. Okay. Right, so what I was thinking is, if I put down a ladder here, does it let me do that, or can it only be... Hang on. Just having an experiment. Thank you, Garson. Thank you very much, Garson. So I'm wondering, if I put a vertical connector... No, I guess not. I just don't want multiple sort of, like rooms connecting to my bedroom. That's fine, doesn't matter. I'll just put it back then. <laughs> right. So, um, welcome everyone. Welcome for, for the people trickling into, uh, words, trickling into the stream. Just to give you an update on what's happening on the YouTube side of things then. I'm so sorry for the content drought, but the latest video is finished. Ah, <laughs> at long last, uh, the latest video is done. So I've sent out a draft version to my patrons and to my Twitch subs. If you are a Twitch sub, you should have it in your email. If you don't, if you politely ask one of the mods, I'm sure they'll be able to hook, uh, hook you up. Um, but it will go public soonish. Just bear with me. Um, what it is, it's a, it's a, well, it's a set of three video essays where I banter about a specific topic, specifically the Daisy mod and the Daisy standalone. I hope that you'll find them interesting. Fingers crossed. Um, I will get on with the next bullshittery soon. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for this indoor one. But yes, I will get on with the next bullshittery soon. I just diverted to a side project to mix things up a bit. For if I edit the same thing every day, I'm going to go a little crazy. Thank you, M. Carr. Thank you very much, M. Carr. And Kushalker and Ixian. Thank you. Plant that. Right. Take these. Just stick these in the bio room. So good enough. Run upstairs. So yeah, hopefully people like it. It's a bit lengthy, I'm afraid. You don't take a week off? I might, uh, Pone. I might just chill and do some streams and stuff and just generally not think about work. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I got a bit... I, I think I got a bit wound up. I got a bit too... too much... Yeah, I, I needed to step back, I think. Otherwise, I will go mental. Thank you, Spawns, a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Duxley says, don't believe his lies. The video is about birds. It is about birds. Is it? Do you think I went too far? I thought it... I, I thought I was I was just on the edge of going too far. <clears throat> I started talking about the birds of the Galapagos Islands. More specifically, how uh, when isolated environments uh, that don't link up with their parent group, how, well, how they can drift, how they can evolve and inherit different traits. And I was making the comparison against modding communities, effectively, and how modding communities left isolated and no longer sort of partaking in the whole game and all of the players in it will start to... Well, they will start to change and specialise, and before you know it, people, say, for example, who are, into, who are super into Minecraft now, for example, they can't just go back to vanilla Minecraft. So the, uh, the specific video essay is about the challenges of having to subsequently make a standalone product when your audience has specialised so, so, um, well, to such an extreme degree. 
Like, imagine Minecraft 2 now. Imagine having to make Minecraft 2 and how much of a ball ache that would be because everyone plays Minecraft differently now and no one tolerates the the, the simple, oh, put some blocks down and make a house. There are people making fucking microprocessors in Minecraft. If you get what I'm saying. Right. Yes, no, no, I'm, I'm deadly serious. It was a framing device within the uh, within the essay 420. I was just talking about evolution because I have a, a, a burning passion for evolutionary biology. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Hmm. Anyway, um, enough about that and more about this. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Subnautica. So, welcome to my humble abode, my home away from home, on the planet 4546B. That's Toby. He's an asshole. He's pooping all over my base and laughing. So, oh, thank you, uh, Crack Carrick, sorry, Crack Rack Gaming. Thank you very much again, sir. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. So, yes, um, why are, why are we here, for those that haven't seen Subnautica? We are the sole survivor of a serious incident in which a ship called the Aurora, which is up here, it's a little toy of the Aurora and a picture of the Aurora. Uh, this ship crashed in the ocean about two kilometers to our south. Sorry, to our direct e No, to our southeast. And it's currently burning and decaying before it falls into the ocean a few, well, dozen years from now, um, just over there. Now, we did look for survivors, but uh, alas, there are no others. We are the only survivor of this crash, and we're alone on this planet. Now, we have gotten in touch with our headquarters, and they have sent us plans for a an escape vessel, a rocket ship that we're going to use to get off this world. Um, so, the plan is to build it and escape. However, a complication. My hands. I've been infected with some sort of bacterial thing. Um, it's not entirely clear what it is, but it will kill me, according to the audio logs that we've discovered from other people who have crash-landed on this world previously. I've only got weeks to live. So, what I need to do now is I need to find a cure. Now, this planet, it looks like it was the center of a research operation by an alien race to study something called the Cara bacteria. Some sort of extremely dangerous bacteria that went through their, went through their populations, well, loads of their population centers, and killed tens of billions. Hi there, Tom. ZF Tom's there, folks. Hi. So... This looks like the Cara bacteria, and we've got to find a way of fixing it. Now, our best lead is to follow what those aliens were doing at their research sites, and I found a couple of them. And each site points me deeper. We need to go deeper. We, they, they seem to have some sort of facility, at least according to the notes that we've been able to interpret, near the center of a volcano that's quite deep. We're going there. We're going to that volcano now. However, Interestingly, as we approach the volcano, a voice spoke to us. We're not alone here on this world. There's another intelligence, and it's not human. It doesn't seem to be one of the alien scientists. That was a thousand years ago, and it looks strange. It looks very strange. It was speaking to us. It looked like, a, like, a, like an insect. It might be the specimen that they were studying a thousand years ago. They were making some sort of containment system for this... Uh, like a, they called it a sea emperor, or at least the sample that they had. I don't know if that's the living sample. We'll see. But um, effectively, in short, we're going to the center of a volcano where we're going to look for something that they imprisoned in there to study its antibacterial properties. First, coffee. Coffee. Crunchy. Okay, so let's get going. Now, just before I went to bed, I did fiddle around with the Cyclops last night. I believe did I give it that? I, there was a there was an attachment to give it power when it's in thermal zones. Did I attach it? Hello, Toby. Yes, I know it's funny. Shitting all over my stuff. Hang on. Anyway. This is the Neptune's Kiss, my submarine. Isn't it beautiful? Look at those wonderful striking colors. Isn't it beautiful? Of course it's beautiful. Yeah. 
Where's Cuddle? She's down there. She's hanging. I'm going to be honest. I don't know where she is right now. She swam off over there. She's still in the area, but I don't know exactly where. Right. <laughs> Looks like Buzz Lightyear's penis. <laughs> you reckon it would spring up when you press a button on his back? Right. In we go. Thank you, Satan. Systems online. Right. So, here aboard the Cyclops, I made a couple of alterations last night. That, obviously. Nice aquarium with a couple of peepers that I found, the golden ones. They're, they've got some sort of golden trail. It's properties I don't yet know we're investigating. But, I stuck a few of these. I figured we might need them. So, some vegetation. Melons. In case we get hungry. Thank you, Cravius. Thank you very much, Cravius. Shit, only two decoys? Might need to make a few more of those. They're going to be useful. And also, on uh, really for real, seriously. Okay, we have a stowaway. What the? What are you doing here? Okay, this is one of those cave leeches that sticks onto your systems down under the water. Hang on, what the? Right, we have no stowaway according to the scanner. So, why is there a sentient vagina in my engine room? Hmm? Can you piss off? Right. Never mind. Ignore him. Okay. Uh, did I get the upgrade? Yes, I did. So, I got the upgrade that will, that will recharge the Cyclops when it's near hot environments. Which is something we were struggling with when we went to the volcano last time. So. Nice. Cyclops Thermal Reactor Module. So I just got that last night so we wouldn't have to faff around. Okay, so we're going to be going to the centre of the volcano. Um, what else do we need to do? We also... It's the fuzz. Fish police. Hmm. Right. Um, we also need to have a look for parts for the rocket ship on the surface. Also, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm okay. My bad. I'm okay, honey. I'm sorry. Did I make a funny noise? How you doing, gorgeous? Are you gorgeous? Yes. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck was that? Right. So, um, anyway, in short, go to the volcano and investigate and also get more parts for the rocket ship up there. Okay, and also get some more... So, three things. Get some more of these decoy tubes. So, let's do those last two things first before we go to the volcano. So, decoy tubes will require what? Thank you, Caboose. Thank you very much, Caboose. They will require wiring kits, which simply require silver and titanium. So let's go west out into the sandy bit, because there's some silver there and some titanium. Thank you, Dragon Lord. Thank you very much. Here we are on the bridge of our submarine. Also, what would it take to make the next... Ah, so wiring kits, nickel, aerogel, and plasteel. So we'll look for some titanium as well. Alrighty then. Let's go. <clears throat> Engine on. Engine powering up. Thank you, Dragon Lord. Holy shit, sir. Thank you for your sub bomb. That's very kind. And Joel and Veteran. Thank you. And wrong. Yeah! Oopsie. It wasn't me. So how's everyone doing? Everyone okay? Which way am I going? That's this way. Hi there. Cold Shadow in Oz. Hello indeed, sir. And thank you again, Dragon Lord. You're very kind. Thank you. And Veteran and Joel. Thank you. Oh, holy shit. And whoa. Okay. <laughs> holy moly, guys. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, um, Crack Gaming again. You're extremely cu Only if you're sure, folks. Thank you. Don't break the bank for a cunt like me. Thank you very much, Kra. Thank you. Forgive me, I'm having trouble pronouncing your name properly. Thank you very much, Kra. And Death. Thank you, Death. Death Grip. Thank you. Okay, so the submarine is now drifting through the water. I can hear an angry fish somewhere, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I can see it's shadow in the distance. Let's switch to silent running. Rig for silent running. That way it won't find us, and therefore bite us. 
Well, I thought so, Drunk. Uh, to be honest, I thought about it for a while, but I'm going to be honest, everything gets to copyright claim, so what's the difference? It's probably not the, the best way to look at it, but, you know, you're constantly worried. It, it, pretty much all of my bullshitteries are now copyright claim for the most bullshit fair use thing. So, doesn't really matter whether you make an effort to or not. What's the difference? Right. Is that silver? I think it's silver. I'm going to deploy. Okay. Entering the prawn. Deploy. Okay, here we are on the seabed. Shots. I'm looking for silver. So that's salt. Pretty sure I saw some silver. More salt. Did I not see silver behind the sub? Here. Silver. We got it. Okay. How are my lungs feeling? Yes, quite a bit better, Cohen. I'm gradually feeling stronger. Thank you for asking. Uh, do you mind? This is weird. Um, I don't know, Joel. I have no idea. I don't want to say the virus because it didn't have the symptoms, but nevertheless something kicked the shit out of my lungs. Um, it was very difficult to breathe. Which isn't overly unusual because I'm quite heavily asthmatic, so one of the reasons I didn't think anything of it when it first appeared was, well, it's hard to breathe? Well, you know, that's my Monday to Friday. But then it got a lot worse quite quickly, and I got quite worried, and it got to the point that I was just taking a walk and I felt dizzy. I, I was mouth breathing and I couldn't, I couldn't get enough air. I was like, holy shit, I'm, I'm breathing deep with my mouth and I, I'm not coughing, I have no fever, I just am not getting enough air. So I have no idea what that's about. Right. Do you mind? Okay. Wait, is there anything else for me to grab while I'm here? So I need titanium as well. That Leviathan sounds quite close. I don't need quartz. Just have a quick stomp around. Oh, I think this is titanium. Nice. A little bit guppy. A little bit. Um, I'd say that my lungs feel fragile, and, and when I breathe in deep, I can feel like, um, it sounds disgusting, but I can, I can almost feel like the strands of liquid. I can feel like a, like a wheeziness, like a heaviness, like they're gunked up by like a chest infection. But it's fairly light now, to the point that as mentioned, I'm going to go for a jog this afternoon. I don't feel overly impaired. I thought so too, uh, Stex. I thought it might just be bronchitis as well. Did I check with the doctor? I did try, but I got stupid, I'm afraid. Um, I didn't have the... My doctor didn't have the right details. Uh, yes, it was my bad. So last time I contacted my surgery, it was like two mobile phones ago. And I forgot to update them with the current mobile phone. So it's all over the phone now. Oops. Okay. Yes, I'm stupid, it seems. But we all know that, don't we? Yeah, but I'm okay. Just steadily healing. Anything else to grab while I'm here? Congrats, Muffin. Congrats indeed. Congrats on your job, sir. Or oh, ma'am. Well done indeed. What are you doing, honey bunny? Huh? What do you want? Why are you looking at me like that? You just want a treat, don't... Fine, hang on. She wants a treat. We've got to give her a treat. These are the rules. 
Hey, sweetie. Right. Now, what have we got here, here, Honey Bunny? I'll tell you what we've got here. We, you're, you're in luck, Honey Bunny, because we have spent hundreds, if not thousands of years, domesticating animals. I know it's quite complicated, just bear with me here. So what we do is we take these animals and we capture them and we stick them in a pen and then we watch them fuck and then they make babies and then we make those babies have babies and then on and on it goes and we select the, the most beneficial properties. In this case, we did it with pigs or wild boar at the time. It's very fascinating. Anyway, so we took these pigs and we kept, kept them around in villages and stuff because they were very useful to us. They would act as a sort of uh, rubbish cleaning system in which all of the stuff, the random bits that we don't want to eat, well, we can just put them in the pig's sty and the pigs will make good work of it. Anyway, here's the fantastic thing. I know you're interested. We take the pig and then we're able to eat pretty much all the parts of it. All of the delicious pieces of the pig. We can make bacon. We can make, you know, like the, the huge belly section. We can make something delicious. Uh, we can do like from the skin. We can get like the poor scratching. Like delicious. Um, here's the bad news. Uh, we get those bits because we're humans. You get a dried pig's ear. This is for you. You've earned it. We did the work. Don't look at me like that. We did the work domesticate. Where were you? Where the fuck were you? <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get for your tardiness. You should have grown a brain. You should have worked on your brain. We did. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm being mean. Right. She's got a dried pig's ear. Which is revolting. That's what you get for not evolving intelligence. Or rather not focusing on it. Where is my submarine? There it is. <sighs> okay. No, no, she loves pigs here. Mainly because she has no idea what she's really missing out on. There we go. Welcome on. Systems online. Right. Checking inventory. That's not the inventory. What's, what's that sound? Oh, low power? Hold on. Have we malfunctioned? No, what was that about? Something was malfunctioning. Weird. Um, hang on. I'll switch us off silent running because there's no predator nearby. And we're just draining lots of power. Um, right. What do I need? So, go to the storage unit for the prawn suit. Silver. So, I'm going to grab this silver, and I'm going to grab this titanium. And I'm just going to go down this ladder. Thank you, I'm a rat, and Chibi, thank you sincerely. Thank you. And before that, Seba Boy, and before that, Ura Harry, and before that, Chewy, and before that, Death, and before that, Kral. Thank you, all of you, and thank you, Crazy Wolf, as well. Wiring kit for two silver. Wiring kit for two silver. And then, deployables, creature decoys times three. We'll make a couple. No, no, we can't. We don't have the titanium. We'll do that later then. Up I climb. Okay. Task one complete. Loading into the tubes. Five of five decoy launchers for any large Leviathan creatures that might attack us. Thank you, 37 geckos. Thank you, sir. Okay, next. Let's have a look and see what we require for the next piece of the rocket. Plasteel, nickel, aerogel, and wiring kit. Okay, so the plasteel is probably our focus. We need to get a bit more titanium. How much do we have aboard? Da -da 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 -da. Some water. Some fish. Some rubies. Some crystals and some lead. Bugger. Okay. La -da 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 -da. Over here to the prawns inventory. Aha! Titanium. Do we have enough to make an ingot? No, we require two more pieces of titanium. Let's go searching. Right. Thank you, um, 7DS Pride. Thank you very much, Seven. Thank you sincerely. Right. Where are we going? We're going southwest. Do you 
find Mr. Shark. Oop, that might be titanium right there. Okay, never mind. Titanium's right here. Stop. There we go. Thank you, Zerupa. Thank you very much, Zerupa. Into the prawn. Deploy. On the ocean bed. Titanium. I've had poops that look like this. I'm sure we all have. Thank you, Zerupa. So yeah, so um, yeah, quick too long didn't read. So the latest YouTube project is finished and is currently up for the patrons and the Twitch subs. It's a bit different, I hope good different. Um, but I will get on with the next bullshitteries soon. still play armor. I haven't done it recently, Guitar. Um, so the armor games that we played went through phases, different types. So we played some patrol ops, which were pre-made missions initially. And then, what did we start doing? We started doing some Zeus games, which is where someone was making the missions on the fly. And then we started doing some anti-Stasi games, which is where it was a set sort of AI, well, lots of different um, conditions in a, in a in a unique resistance style gameplay and we did about three games of those for over the course of a couple of years and then I think Digby, Cyanide and Quebec now run their own individual ops or at least they're part of their own individual ops and I couldn't tell you what they do specifically so yeah armor continues to diversify as people try different things hi there muffin Take about a week as holiday for my- Yeah, I probably will if that's okay. Or a few days at least. Just playing game, just streaming and, you know, chilling out and watching porn. Right. Right. At least, when, once this video is up public at least, I need, I need to get it public. So this, the last two minutes of the video, I just, I just want to tweak it a little bit because I think it's a bit... Not so sure about it. I think it's a bit... Mm, just a bit. Mm. You need to. You need to end strong. You need to start strong. You need to end strong. And I don't think I ended strong. Is what I'm saying. Right. Okay. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much, Jim. Yeah. Do you do you agree, Killer? Yeah. I think it was a bit. Like I. I think I drifted. I, I I need what I, I needed to come back round and and have some closing like a closing statement, even, even if it's short. Yeah, let me just play with it. Um, what was I doing? Sorry, bear with me. La, 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 la. Can I go fishing when the lockdown two is implemented? That is a good question, Mar uh, Martian. I need to look that up. I don't know. Bear with me. I'm just gonna go over here. I'm just going to park the Cyclops over one of these vents, which I think... Does it charge it? Or do we need to be in a volcanic, like, zone? Oh yeah, it is brilliant. Okay. Just, just sit here for a few moments and then the Cyclops will be full charged. In fact, if we just switch the engine off. Speed up the process. Thank you, Delro. And, fire, uh, and F1 report. Thank you. Thank you sincerely. Okay, so let's just have a quick drink. To, uh, hang on, just get some something to eat as well. Get the moisture from the marble melons. Om nom nom. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, that is handy. Okay, and then slash this marble melon. Get all the seeds, and then sprinkle the seeds here. Put the overflow in. Already had some here. Oh, is this rotten? Bugger. Okay. I think we need to put a bin, don't we? Right, so, uh, what was I doing? I was getting a bit of... Uh, what was it called? The plastic... Yeah, so I need a bit of lithium. We don't have any lithium abo ab aboard, do we? Let's have a look. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not sure the panic. I could take a guess, but it wouldn't be accurate. I don't know exactly what went wrong with Adobe, but if I compromised a little bit and 
reduce the bit rate slightly and the number of passes that were being made on the render, then my computer could handle it. I don't know why my computer's... Do you mind? Shark is knocking on the door. Yes, I don't know what went wrong. Okay, so I do not do not have the lithium. We need to go get a bit of lithium. Thank you, um, Ki Kiwi is. Thank you very much, Ki Kiwi. Thank you. Okay, how's the power? Our power is on sixty nice sixty nine. Oh, it's taking some time, isn't it? Should be fine. We have enough power. Engine powering up. Okay. Right, so... Let's go this way. Let's go find some lithium. If I take the sea moth, I could just drop... Yeah. We'll work it out, it'll be fine. Ah, dear. Anyway, for those joining the stream, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely weekend. Um, so, keeping it short, over here this week I've just been trying to finish the latest project and it's pretty much done. It will go public soonish. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to relax. I'm gonna go for a jog. Trying to eat well, because my diet has been shit. Um, Lulu's fine, she's just behind me enjoying that pig's ear. Had some fun with Rising Storm Vietnam yesterday with the clan and bloody fish. And on Sunday, I'll be doing some Team Fortress with them, which should be a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Hope everyone's okay. Um, once again, I say this pretty much every stream, or at least for the last three days or so. Um, good luck over to the United States and the citizens of the, of the United States, which, you know, obviously is quite stressful right now. You lot hang in there. I'm going to go get some lithium because we need some. Uh, so take out the silver from the from the back of the prawn. Climb down here. Sorry, yeah, I think it's the it's the the frame rate went shit because I'm just above my base. Sorry. There's quite a lot of shit that it's having to render. So the fish are knocking. Do you guys mind? Piss off. Go away. Right. And off we go. Right. Our walker is now advancing across the seabed. Down into a lava tube that goes beneath the sandy... Well, into the into the depths. Off we go. Deployed. Okay. We're looking for lithium. Should be fairly easy to find. That's gold, I believe. Yes, it is. We don't need gold right now. Well, we'll get a couple of little pieces. I think we're running low. Yes, based on what I've been able to find, that this this whole area sits upon a, a massive extinct volcano. There are lava tubes everywhere, and as we got closer and closer to alien activity, we found an enormous magma chamber. The eruption must have been millions of years ago, and it, it's, it's showing, well, some volcanic activity, but it's going to be in several more million years before that, that thing gets anywhere close to erupting, so it may as well be extinct. Thank you, um, Kayu. Uh, K Kayor? Thank you, Kayor. And Tutek. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Thank you sincerely. A bit more gold. Magnetite, which we don't need. We might need. I'll just grab it while we're here. We're looking for lithium. Right. Jump. 
What do we have down there then? Ah, magnetite. All right, grab a little bit. Uh, no, I don't know how to make that, Anjo. What do I? Blueprints. Do, 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 do. Radiation suit. Nope. Don't know how to make a thermal suit. I'm sure we'll get there. In time. A bit more gold. Oops. A bit more magnetite. Thank you, uh, uh, potable potato. Thank you very much. Are we going to be okay here or will we take damage? Should be okay within the prawn. Still some activity from the vol volcano. Lithium. Lithium. Fuck. This doesn't fit the prawn? That's annoying. Uh oh. <laughs> Are we gonna get stuck? No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're okay. Holy shit. I guess that's for people swimming but not suit. Or the sea moth, yeah. And lift and fling. And don't get bitten in the gonads by a worm thing. Good life advice. Where's the lithium then? There's normally quite a bit of it. Kind of taken all of it. Yeah, do you reckon? Just check the shale. I was looking for a big deposit. We should have a look inside the shale. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's more magnetite. Yeah. Hold the phone. Yeah, chill out, chill out. Take off the drill suit or the drill arm. Right, let's poke some shale things. Gold. Fuck. Shale, shale, shale. That's magnetite. I'll grab it. No, I won't. There we go. Why is everything purple? We're in a cave of lots of strange jelly plants which have a symbiotic relationship with the worms that live in them. Piece of diamond, which I don't really need right now. Lithium. Lithium. Which should immediately start... There we go, lithium. Which should immediately start bubbling on contact with the water. Because it's lithium. We've all taken chemistry in primary school. We remember how it works, right? Lithium, potassium, sodium, but not cesium. Don't put cesium in the water. Why? Because the teacher gives you a detention immediately on the spot. Lithium. Or in my case, where I was working, I was paired up one day in secondary school, years and years ago, with an idiot, frankly. And he wasn't like a friendly idiot, he was just like a proper idiot idiot. Like, lol, I don't care about science, all that stuff. One day, at the end of an experiment where we had to take a crucible of material, this was years ago, I have no idea what the, what the material was, but all I remember was that there was a heat-proof mat and there was a crucible of uh, that we had to put in a Bunsen burner. So just a, like a pot. Imagine a pot, basically, made out of clay. And he would heat up this... Well, we had to heat up this crucible, right? So here we have this burning hot crucible. We've got, like, you know, heat-proof gloves and all that jazz and heat-proof mat. And we're putting away the experiment. He puts away the heat-proof mat first, 
leaving the crucible on the wooden table, the varnished wooden table. Of course, it sears an enormous hole in the varnish of this brand new table, and I get the fucking shit for it. Because what does he do? He points his finger at me, going, ooh. Like, literally with that noise. This dullard going, ooh. I was trying to explain to the teacher, who obviously didn't believe it. Do you really think I'm fucking dumb enough to fucking put burning hot crucible on the on this desk? It's this idiot. Pretty sure he went into politics. Lithium! Hooray! Right. Thank you, Reva. Thank you very much, Reva. And, uh, Potato. Thank you, Potato. Okay. Fuego says a science teacher at his school got fired for pouring silver nitrate onto a kid's arm. Holy shit, really? On purpose? Oh wait, no room for this item. Hold the phone. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we had any. Um, I don't think my my primary or, se or secondary school had any of those. Like teacher got fired. Or anything. I think the, the most serious thing we had is a kid that threw a javelin at what, another one in PE and like hurt him to a not insignificant degree. Like in anger, he threw a javelin. I think that, that's the most serious one we had. Yeah, like a missile, like a like a jet, well, like a javelin. You throw a javelin. I wasn't there. I didn't see it. But oh my god, was he expelled. Holy shit. Never saw that guy again. Okay, but we got the lithium. Let's go. Whole load of lithium. Back to the Cyclops. Where is the Cyclops? Go to my beacon manager. Uh, Cyclops, the Neptune's Kiss. A great name, I'm sure you'll all agree. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, oh, I'm sinking. It's intruding in the worm's home. Up we go. <laughs> Whee! Ah. Quickly. Da, 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 da. It's <laughs> great. It's prawn suiting my way around the cave. Someone drilled a hole in the table with a pencil, lol, and put a test tube with potassium in and poured water in there. Oh no, that's fucking dangerous. Piece of glass everywhere. Yeah, potassium's proper boomy. Well, lots of smoke mostly. Cesium is the dangerous one. In your school, Masnak, a chemistry teacher poured alcohol on an already burning alcohol. It spilled on a student's hair. Oh really? Oh dear. Are you sure he just like wasn't drinking? It just wasn't him drinking. It wasn't a sci science experiment at all. And now, kids, we're going to be doing an experiment with brandy. <laughs> uh, for the second half of the lesson, you guys are going to watch a science film because I'm asleep. Oh. Thank you, Kuko. Thank you very much, Kuko. Okay. Yes. 
Another, another story from school. I've told this one before. So my secondary school had uh, so its playground area. Uh, I don't know if it's still the case because I think they partitioned it and built some huts or whatever. But back when I went to secondary school, there was a playground, and then imagine like a, a, a very small dirt, like dirt hill to a playing ground, right? So um, it, you'd, you'd have a sort of elevated playing ground over the actual concrete playground. So what what this meant was when it started snowing and it snowed enough to have a snowball fight, these distinct factions factions would arrive in the playground at lunchtime because you'd have all the students down in, in, in the concrete with all the snow they could find. And then, of course, you'd have all these students on the playing field with loads of snow, fucking tons of it. So what this meant was that a big snowball fight would kick off and those who had the elevation advantage and all the grass had, like, vast amounts of ammo, okay? So they could make huge snowballs to fling back into the playground. The people in the playground, however, had to get had to get creative because they had only a little bit of snow on the concrete. So what they would do, they would augment the snowballs with gravel as a sort of anti-infantry um, bonus, I suppose. Of course, it only took a few hours before snowball fights were banned throughout the entire school. As yes. <sighs> Well, we thought it was clever. Up we go. Nope, nope, down I go. Right. The UK has snow a long time ago. A long time ago. Okay. Now then, I have the lithium. Da, 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 da. Okay, lithium and... Well, I just need a little bit of this, don't I? <laughs> right. One guy lost an eye to a snow fight. Really? Holy shit. Alright, honey bunny. Where's your pig's ear? You can't have eaten the pig's ear. What, what have you done with it? Normally she spends hours chewing them up. I'm sure she's buried it somewhere. She's just sitting at my feet with no pig's ear. She's gone and hidden it. Right, okay. So I've got the titanium ingot. So let's go down here. Okay. And let's go... So not wiring kit. Plasteel. Here we go. Lovely. That's what we need. Back upstairs we go. Alright, submarine up. Turn this way. Okay. Chimera said you had a girl got expelled for giving a special needs kid a blowjob on the back of the field trip bus. <laughs> oh dear. Her defense. But he said he had special needs. Those were indeed Finish some special needs. Down. Right. Okay, in we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Now then, um, so I've got the plasteel. I'll drop off the magnetite and the lithium because we do not require it right this moment. Just take these. Yeah, get rid of that. Don't really need need this right now. Lithium here, magnetite there. Take this vegetable matter and dunk it in this bin, and then go over here to. One moment. Where is the... Where's the aerogel? Ah, here it is. Gel sacks. My character is thirsty, bear with me. Thank you, Rotskopf. Thank you very much, Rotskopf. Thank you. Oh, hello, Lulu. She's at my feet, wanting attention. So, we need some... We need some gel. So if I go to the fabricator... 
and go to advanced materials. So a ruby and okay, just that and that. I think we've got some rubies in the sub, don't we? Go get them. Thank you, Josh, Bin, and Norlock, and Dominant. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Oh, my frame rate sucks near this zone. There's just too much going on. There we go. Some rubies. Hey, sweetie. The dog's rubbing up against my leg. She wants attention. Yes, you're a good girl. Okay, so here we are. Aerogel. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, the dog is currently headbutting my knee. Yes, I know. I love you too. Yes. Right, so... What we're doing, folks, is I'm trying to build the lowest section of the rocket ship. So, just before we go. So, nickel. That's all we need. Three units of it. It should be either here or in the sub. Here it is. One, two, three. All right. Up we go. There's the sub. Hi, Lulu. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. How you doing? Are you a good girl? Yes, you are. You're my good girl. Right. So, this platform will be the eventual site of my escape. I hope, at least. So, we're building a single, well, a single uh, seated rocket ship that is going to take me to the nearest phase gate. These drones will be building it for me. Here's the next set of materials for the booster. Please begin. Whoa. Okay, so the first stage of the rocket. Okay, cool. Looking good. Well done, drones. What's the next section? Fuel reserve. So, plasteel, ion power cells, kyanite, and crystalline sulfur. Alas, I don't know where to get that yet. I take it you've uploaded instructions? No? You have not? I guess I find it locally. Crystalline sulfur, ion power cells. Surely you've shown me how to make ion power cells. Can't expect me to wing it. Uh... How peculiar. Okay. Time to go exploring then. Right, so the next section needs to be built soon. Looking good though, well done drones. Swan dive. All right, so for those joining the stream, the next task will be to go deep within the heart of a volcano, within the magma chamber of a volcano, in order to keep searching for this supposedly immune species immune to the bacteria that has infected me. We have pretty much everything we need as far as I know. Drop these off. There's not enough room. Uh, still not enough room. Drop these off here and here. Okay. So we have batteries. We have one spare battery. Maybe quickly just grab. Make sure we've got enough. Hang on. <laughs> oh really? Unlucky you do sir. Yes, those bloody things ate my seam off. Ah, take these. Stand by. Just a couple of spare fully charged power cells. Go to the battery bank here. And swap that battery in there. Do we have any spare batteries kicking around? I thought we did. Do we not? 
Um, apparently not. Okay. Only one spare battery that could cause a problem. Didn't I have bat- mm, sorry. I thought I had batteries somewhere. Right, this thing needs to get charged up. Well, it will when we get to the volcanic section. Ah, batteries, here we are. Okay, so we're ready to go then. So, let's go. Although, if you'll forgive me, do you mind if I just pop the kettle on? I fancy a coffee. Um, is there a volcanic vent nearby where I can stick this thing? Uh, not really. What's the current power reserve? 63%. Um, leave me here for a second. Okay, there's Toby down there, and somewhere's Cuddles. Bear with me just a second, I'm just popping the kettle on. What is that look? Why, you look at her, she looks like she's she's been abandoned. What is that look? in the French press. Uh, make sure I'm not on the camera before I bend down into the frame. Jubbly.
pop my fleece on. Ah, that's better. Hi there for those just joining. Right, yeah, I just grabbed a quick coffee, although the French press is just working on it. Lovely. Okay. How long have we been playing this game? Um, uh, about 50... Oh no, uh, sorry, in total you mean. Um, well, this is my second playthrough now, so uh, quite a while. Although, I haven't really gotten this far in this story, because the first time I played it through was about five years ago, back when it had none of this. It just had z zones to explore. Right. Let's go, then. So, engine off online. Engine powering up. I'll be back soon. Home base. Cyclops submarine engaged. Rising up to the surface. Don't hit one of the reef backs. These gentle giants are all over the place. They're very nice. They're whales, basically. Filtering nutrients from the water. Ocean snow. So all the organic crap. Hmm. Actually, sorry, no, that's probably not accurate, is it? It's just pure plankton, isn't it? It's not ocean snow. That's something else. Okay. So, that's the marker that we need to go to. The Cave of the Terror Wee. So, it's an underground cave. It's like a shelf that extends down a long tunnel towards, uh, well, it's like a, a, a bunch of brine pools. Very, very deep underwater. Very hostile to wildlife. Yeah, she's, I'm sure she's somewhere. Cuddles apparently roams far, so she's hard to find. Okay, moving through the kelp forest. What's that sound? Is that the music? Okay, will I go diving in real life? Probably not. The ocean scares the shit out of me. And I haven't been swimming in quite a long time. Mainly because I just haven't really found the opportunity. There aren't that many nice swimming pools here in the here down here in Brighton. There was one over in Hayward's Heath like years and years ago, but it's not so good anymore. It wasn't me. Yet I enjoy fishing, indeed. Different reasons though. Sitting sitting in, in the nice weather or whatever, just sitting in the open. With the breeze and the birds and yeah it's nice it's relaxing catching fish it's good you learn to appreciate it when you're stuck indoors in front of a computer 24 7. he has right of way you don't piss off piss off piss off not bad <laughs> parking alert is that moly hi moly that's ZF Moly, everyone. I hope you're well, sir. Ah, if you think I'm old, holy shit, you haven't seen Moly. You remember the end of uh, Indiana Jones? You know, when that guy takes the, the, the drink from the wrong uh, the Holy Grail and just turns into like a mummified man? That's basically Moly. If that, if that scene were to happen, it's just Moly like, right? That's Tuesday for him. Right. Okay, another big piece of the Aurora. <laughs> I swear this computer's like my mum, making sure I've eaten enough food. Hang on. I'm just gonna go eat some melons. Oh no, I got some potatoes. I'm gonna eat some potatoes, <gasps> fuck you. Oh no, I'll need to make room. Eat some melons. Vital signs and then stabilizing. harvest some potatoes and then replant them. Yes? Oh, they're huge. Holy shit. I can only do the one. I only do the one. Eat the other potatoes. Cool. Easy source of food and water. Right. Let's go. So, we proceed down here and then go deep. Move underneath the shelf and make our way to the brine pools. Once we find them, we then go deeper into what is effectively the neck of a huge extinct volcano. In the middle, we'll find 
exist uh, still alive remnants of the sea dragons, an enormous leviathan creature. There were two of them, and they were huge. Hopefully we can avoid their attention. Okay. Descending to... So we're still at 100 metres. We're still quite shallow. Any enormous shapes lurking in the darkness? Is that lights on or off? Can't tell. Uh, it should be okay. When we get into the volcano itself, we should be able to recharge the batteries using the thermal energies in the water. And if not, I've got a got, I've got a couple of backup power cells in my pack. So here's the ledge. We go down and then under. Where is it? So just beneath us, according to the sensor, there's the entrance. So let's just do a wide turn. Can you die in the game? Indeed you do, but you just wake up back at your base with uh, fewer materials. I think it's a bit of a shame, to be honest. Permadeath would be cool. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a mode. Warpers. Agents of the aliens. Oh, is it hardcore mode? Uh, cool. You can save it, though, right? No, no saving either. Mm, not sure about that. Don't want to lose everything. Everything just. If you die, your save is deleted. Uh, maybe not for me. I want it to be hard, but not punishing. Everyone can fuck up. Okay, here we are. We're entering the cave of the Terror Wee. It's very beautiful. Quite deadly. Follow the contours of the cave. Beneath us we can find brine pools with lots of dead leviathans and lots of dead creatures in general. Keep following the cave. No, no, it was totally called the Cave of the Terror Wee. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. When I discovered it. 100%. So, we're following an enormous volcano tube right now. Lava tube. And just down here we will find... Effectively, the I suppose the neck of it, or well, one of them, really. It looks like this volcano is massive. It doesn't have just one. Oh look, is that my my creature decoy? Is still active. It's fizzing in the water. How fascinating. Just give it a save. Indeed, I am draining the battery, so we best watch it a bit. We're, yep, we're off radar mode. Watch out for that reaper. Ghost Reaper, an enormous creature. Switch to silent Reaper running. Silent run. Probably won't save us, but we'll just be quick. We'll always launch a creature decoy, that's what they're for. 
It's ignoring us. Keep going. Watch our tail. Watch our tail. Here's the volcano. Down, 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 down. As quick as we can, please. Don't waste time. Slow down. It's slow. Now we need to be a bit careful. Maneuvering is going to be a bit dicey here. Switch off Simon Rudden. Thank you, Lord Terrina. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay, here we are. So we're inside the volcano itself. Watch out for those magma flows. Now things get creepy. Thank you, Redbeard. Thank you very much, Redbeard. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Momentarily, rather. So here's good. Just have some coffee. Sorry, just fancy coffee. Right. Are we regenerating our power based on the heat of the water? Yes, we are. Good. Dim the external and the internal lights. Just got my coffee in hand. Very hot out there. But ahead of us is a certain threat. Head slow. Thank you, Zam Rabbit. Thank you sincerely. Both for your sub and for your work. Thank you, Zam. That looks like a sea dragon. I haven't been able to scan it, but its skull structure matches the skull that we found up on the surface. Or, well, not on the surface, but up at the alien research facility. We need to be very careful. Okay. No leeches yet, but I'm sure that will change. Give it a save. Now, we go to the west side of the crater. Try to avoid attracting the attention of that thing. Rig for silent running. Rig for silent running. something we've got leeches creatures are attaching themselves to the hull to drain power I'll have to cut them off I need it to stop circling Can you not? Can you? Just wait here for a second. It should move to another part of the cabin. I need to get past it. <clears throat> there we go. Is it moving? Yep, there we go. We're off. Nice and steady. So last time I was here, we moved to the west side of the cabin and a voice spoke to us. The voice ident identified herself, well, didn't really identify herself, but said that we were what she sought, as in the specimen. I think she's referring to the specimen that escaped. I'm not entirely sure. Either the specimen that escaped or the specimen that they were studying and built a purpose-built facility for. Regardless, something is sentient down here. Nice 
nice and steady, slow and steady. It's stuck in a dead end. Damn. I was hoping to keep looping around the edge of the crater, but I got myself stuck in a cavern. Can we can we safely extract ourselves? What the fuck is all of that? I don't know if they're a threat to the Cyclops, but I don't want to test them. Nice and steady. Power's draining. Combination of the leeches and silent running. I'll have to cut them off the hull. Watch out for that creature. Keep moving through the cavern. So in the middle here, can you see this enormous spire? Looks like a huge crown. It's the it's the volcano trying to rebuild its stocks of magma in this chamber. Slowly, very slowly. Indeed, I think the leeches are bouncing to the back of the ship. Nice and slow. Go a bit lower if we can. Should just be over here, I believe, just on the west side. Watch out for that warper. I don't think we've been spotted. Stand by. 46%. It's okay, the leeches aren't too bad. Keep skimming around the edge. <clears throat> right, is that it up ahead? Thank you, Space Rhino. Thank you very much, Space. Switch to external camera. There it is. That's what we saw. We got down here and something spoke to us. doing that noise. Thank you, Harry. Thank you. Cyclops and go no further. Looks like we're walking. Engine off. Engine powering down. Leave us in silent mode, but I need to get rid of the leeches. Stand by. Let's do a bit of maintenance. I don't have a suit. Working quickly. Shit. 
Were they not? I'm missing two. There. Where's the last one? Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Underside left. Stand by. Okay. Leech is removed. Can you not? Fine. Stand by. Uh, engine off. I don't think we need silent running. Do Leave the whole thing off. We should be fine, so long as the craft is off. Okay. We'll, however... manually pull some of the power cells, or at least the fully charged ones. Make sure we've got some power when we get out of here. Might mean that I'll have to board it and manually reactivate the sub. Let's also get something to eat before we go. For the people joining the stream, we're in the middle of a volcano. stuff. Bear with me, sorry. Just in case I need to get some better materials. Um. Any room? Some. Not a lot, but some. Take the alien tablet with me. I don't think I need it for this location, but you never know. Okay. lights off. I see, the lights weren't even on. It's just the... fuck's sake. Just the natural light from the volcano. Save. Okay. So, we're here to figure out wh what that voice is, exactly. Let's go for a walk. Let's go. Thank you, Bozzy. Thank you, sir. Let's walk on this. Holy crap. You sure the Cyclops can't fit in here? make it surely it looks way too tight though he'll never make it hmm. Fucking hell. yeah this terrain doesn't look easy for the prawn let's give it one go hang on Maybe I've made a mistake. Well, maybe we can. Maybe I'm just being too cautious. Hang on. Might be alright. Let's give it a whack. Here we go. Lift me. There we go. 
Well, lift me. Fuck's sake. Ah! Don't have quite have the jets for this. Go. Come on, you had me. Fuck's sake. Let's wait for my jet to just recharge here. Bear with me. And up. In. There we go. Right. Let's give it a go. Engine on. Engine powering. Holy shit, power. they're draining the power. Can it fit? Oh no, sorry, my mistake. My bad. I thought it was close quarters time. I thought beyond there we'd find walkways and passages for the prawn, but not the cyclops. Can it turn? Yep, yeah, we'll be okay. okay. I need to get these guys off. The, yeah, well, we'll be okay so long as we're quiet and slow. That's true, I only have three of the batteries, don't I? Still got two spare, full 100%. Right. Give it a save. Holy crap. So according to the notes that we found on the surface, the alien facility... Whoa, there's another one down here. Sea Dragon, which means we need silent running. 52% power though, with the new batteries I just installed. Fucking hell. This thing, that thing's very intimidating. Oh, look! I see buildings. Go around the edge. Get ready to flip on silent running as if it comes closer. Could this be the alien power facility? Silent running. Thank you, Fowler. Thank you very much, Fowler. Whoa, there it is. This is either the containment building or the power plant, or both. Silent running off. Engine off. Engine powering down. Okay. We're walking. Pass through this safely. We can. Wow. Even this far down, 
next to this intense heat, I can stand here just fine. Okay. Damn. Blue. We don't have a blue. Stand by. A blue tablet. Okay. Thank you, Grushy. Thank you very much. So I'm guessing this is probably the power plant to disable the surface batteries. But we have no blue. We need to explore. We need to look for it then. Okay. So we're learning stuff. So we f well, we found the new thermal plant. I wonder if our friend knows where we can find blue. Secondary entrance? Just watch out for the dragon. No, but I can check them out momentarily. We're here to explore. Let's explore. It's made of this same material. Nigh invincible material. What's this? Oh, could this be the sulfur that we need? It is. Let's pick up samples of this. Excellent. This sulfur will be needed to build the middle section of the rocket. Good. This was this by yeah, this certainly wasn't a wasted trip. Jumping. So what are these? Monitoring stations, maybe? Are they physically lifting up? Floor here. Let's watch out for that dragon. Don't know where it's gone. There's way more to this cavern. We should keep looking. What's that sound? No, no, it's not that I'm ignoring the chat, BJ. It's just I'm only answer. I'm only really trying to answer the relevant questions and stay immersed. It's after all a show. And right now, it's an exploration show. If you're just joining the stream, we found some sort of enormous alien facility in the middle of what is supposed to be an extinct volcano. The magma chamber above us, empty. Shit, stay away from those things. Shit, 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 get away, get away, get away. Hunters. Spin. We're okay. See no secondary entrance. Indeed, we're immersed. Uh, yes, we're immersed in the game and in the water. No. Thank you, Graf Anesthesia. Thank you very much, Graf. Thank you. Let's get back into the Cyclops and have a look around. Can I get rid of these from the, from the prawn suit? Stand by. Might be able to. Can. Stand by. Let's take care of our little uh, interlopers. Not so wise to do this to the hull of the submarine. Do it quickly. That one's on the glass. Now be very careful. Oh, thank fuck for that. Smash goes the Cyclops. There goes our food. 
There goes our ability to ascend. Here we are, trapped in the middle of a volcano until we run out of air. <laughs> No, you can piss off. Piss off. Fucking things. Yeah, you would. Did that kill him? No, piss off. Piss off. Punch your lights out, you fucking punk. Fuck out of here. And tell all your friends. Scrub. Go. Titan fall, eat your heart out. All systems online. Let's go. There's one more remaining that I missed. Yeah, we'll get him later. Okay, let's explore the rest of the cabin then. Good. Power's almost full. Engine powering up. Powering up engine. Did I save it before I get horribly murdered? Let's save it before I get horribly murdered, eh? Indeed, yeah, the thermal... The module to uh, absorb thermal energy... Yeah, the module's certainly earning its keep. Shh, it's coming right at us. Hold. Sure, we'll be fine. Thank you, Siege. Thank you very much, Siege. See? We're fine. Let's go. Sneaky like. <laughs> right, is there anything down here? Mm, that cave stops there. Thank you, Latin York. Thank you very much, Latin York. Thank you. Bloody fish. Not sure if there's anything through here. What's lifting me? Nothing. So I turn round, I see that I'm in the jaws of the creature. Like, hi! Thank you. Hey, Thank you very much, sir. Thank you kindly. Does this go anywhere, or does this lead out? This could just lead back to the same chamber. Oh, I see another one of them. Does this lead straight back to the magma chamber? Or somewhere else? Stay still, stay still, stay still. It's looking at us. We're fine. See how fine we are? Ignore the terrifying sea beastie. It's clipping through the terrain really awkwardly. Thank you, Fed. Thank you very much, Fed. Right, where are we? One ping only, Brasili. No, yeah, we're back in the... Okay, we're back in the lava chamber. So we just went down then up again. Okay, so what have I missed? I must have missed something else here. The creature spoke to me. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have done the ping. Quietly swim away. Maybe it's within the structure. Maybe, but it's just the, uh... 
it's just the lava tubes, isn't it? Do you reckon there was a facility in the lava tubes and it's since been buried over a thousand years? We can have a look. Let's go up. Thank you, Infected Shadow. Thank you very much, Infected. We can try the prawn soup. find its depth as well. Thank you, Rexer. Thank you very much, Rexer. Stop. I see no signs of an alien installation from here. One ping. Thank you, Chill and Rexa. Thank you very much, Chill and Rexa. Stand by. Checking the data then. So, data downloaded. Operations log, alien data, terminal data. Hello, Warper. Go away. Go away. Should be fine. Alien facility. It was not possible to translate any useful information. Alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcasted by the device. Okay. Cara contagion profile. Specimen research data. So this was, yeah, what they were doing. Unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species has been assigned the designator Sea Emperor. Bone samples from the Emperor specimen indicate that some, some potential for Kara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility, constructed in a volcanic region at 1.4 kilometers deep. While it is unlikely that the Emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there from the alien's attempt to develop a vaccine. Are we okay? What just happened? Are we okay? Just the warpers, I think. Perhaps I'm jumping the gun. Stand by. So 1.4k, that's just a little bit below where, yeah, back where we were. So that must be the containment facility. Okay. So what, what were the other facilities? Stand by. So alien, hang on. Date, so alien data. Alien facility locations. Thermal power plant at 1,200. That's slightly above. Inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Generates electricity uh, energy for local facilities. I found the off-site lab. This must be the primary containment facility. I found that. So maybe this is what I should be looking for. The thermal power facility. Thank you, Peely. Thank you very much, Peely. Hmm. 1,200. I wonder, there are other sites of volcanic activity, not necessarily in this volcano. And it would be weird that they're calling it volcanic activity and not in the volcano, right? Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. Maybe I need to go either far south or far north of the map and have a look around at those deep depths. What do you think? Because we can't proceed here without the blue tablet. Let's have another quick sweep. Oh, careful. It's just that there there are other sites of volcanic activity. You think I'm overthinking it? Okay, well, we'll have one more sweep, and if we can't find anything, then we'll go back to the surface and then leave the volcano and travel somewhere else to 1,200 meters. Sure, but what I'm saying is there are other sites of volcanic activity. This isn't the only one. So if we have no luck here, we can just move to a different one. Have a quick sweep. 
Because there isn't really much in this cavern. See? Hang on. Can I get underneath that bridge? Hold up. Is that one of my power cells powering down? What is it? Thank you, Captain Bean. Thank you very much, Captain. Every time the pulse is going, it's confusing. No, hang on. Let's come back around. Indeed, inside a natural rock formation. Just gonna have another quick sweep, have a look around. Seek fluid intake. I will momentarily, game. Bear with me. So what's down here under here? So we're at roughly the right depth for the, for the thermal station. Besides, either way, it's not a wasted trip. We got the sulfur, so we're hey. He is blind. Do you reckon? I walked this way with the prawn, didn't I? I did. Shit. Might be a bit dicey. Come up a bit. Thank you, Gargoyle. Thank you very much, Gargoyle. It might be worth quickly grabbing a bit. No, I think we've got enough crystals, and we can always come back if need to be. I think we have enough crystals for the next segment. Let's just verify. Bear with me. It'd be a shame to go all the way there and then come back. So, blueprints. Uh, so, to build the next section. So, um, four. Yeah, we've got four. And four crystalline sulfur. Not sure about the iron th ion things. They'll be in the prawn. Hang on. Do we have four? We do. Lovely. Good question, Kush. Good question. Hello. Do you mind? Can I scan you through the glass? I said something when I entered the cavern for the first time. Yeah, what did it say? Let's have a quick look. Hang on. The AI said... So this is what the creature said. I am what you seek. Unknown identification. Be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by three... Oh, no, that's when I built the Cyclops. Uh, no. Did it say something when I entered? Not according to the log. Not sure. Hmm. Also, what's this pickle doing? You alright, honey bunny? She's flopped and she's nice and warm. <laughs> oh. Hi there, Messi. Messi, how is your new house? How did the move and uh, unpacking go, I guess? I hope it's going very well. I must admit, I'm quite jealous now. Even though I've got it's, it's my own damn fault, I need to pull my finger out and start looking for places. That's where we went before. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna go search some other locations. I think I've got I've got a hunch. Let me. I could be wrong, but I I'm just gonna go and check out a hunch. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, old man gamer. Thank you very much, old man. See, do it intake immediately. Oh yes, I'm quite thirsty. Let's have a quick drink. You have a spare room. Nice. Congrats on the spare room. You can store spare things in there. Vital signs stabilizing. Thank you, Timoweth. Thank you very much, Timoweth. Mmm, nice. Congrats.
So is that the exit? On the north side. Possibly. Messi said she's so happy. The house is amazing. Good to hear it. Good to hear it indeed. Hmm. You have a very nice landlord whose name you cannot possibly pronounce. <laughs> okay. This should be the escape tunnel, I think. Is it the same tunnel? Yeah, it must be. So it should now start going up in a minute. Okay, switching the to head, head standard. We're free of the dragon. Thank you, uh, this Jaggy. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Wait, is this the same cabin? Where does this lead? Thank you, Hawkeye. Thank you very much. Is this where I was walking with the prawn? Where does this go, sorry? This is different. Where does it go? into the salt lakes I only had a beacon I put it down here where does this go possibly yeah another entrance into the salt lakes let's just follow this for a second no it's come back Flooding against the hull, I'm sure it's a good sign. Damn. Can I go through here? Nope, it's a dead end. Reverse. So, no, this, this looks like an alternate entrance, isn't it? So from the uh, from the Lost Lake or whatever it's called, the underground salt pits. So this this must be another way down into the magma chamber. There are two entrances. Okay, Lost River. Yeah. So we'll take this one. See where this yeah. See where this. See where we pop up, eh? Maybe it'll be safer than the other way. With the bloody, um, what's it called? Flipping. <sighs> Fuck, I've forgotten his name. Um, the ghost uh, reaper. Oh, here we are. The tree. That explains it. Right? This is the tree? With all the ghost reaper eggs. So there were two ways down. Yes, I recognize it. So we're still quite close to the alien research facility. Right. Yeah, just around here, there should be a beautiful tree. Thank you, warrior. Thank you very much, warrior. I get it. And here it 
here it is. My power cell is shitting itself. Here's the tree. Some sort of enormous coral specimen. Those glowing things? They're reaper eggs. It's their nesting ground. They're not defending it now, though. Maybe they only hatch once in certain conditions. Beautiful, though. Bear with me a second. I'm just going to pop outside to deal with these leeches before they cause me problems on our ascent. How many are there? Holy shit. <laughs> some is the answer. There are some. All the leeches. This ship is now ecosystem. My god, when you get off. Cheeky little bastards. Go get your own sub. Infection is taking hold. Look. Cara bacteria. No, I don't want to be one with nature because nature's disgusting. I'm not a Disney princess. You got. Oh my god. Can you fuck off, a lot of you. Another one just clung on. Piss off. Oh, that one's infected. Holy shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Make sure I eliminate them. Right, a few more at the back. Clean. Oh, the sub looks blue in this light. Looks nice. Right, all aboard. Well, thank you, Tomarun. Thank you very much, Tomarun. Power reserves at what? 38%. Okay. Stand by. External lights, re enable them. Oh, did I get all the leeches? Oh, piss. Fucking. Fuck you. Fucking. Motherfucker. Underwater vagina man. Thing. Hang on. Fucking. Come here. Nice. And I'm done. Yeah, fucking vagina face things. Thank you, Mad Octopus. Thank you very much, Mad Octopus. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. So, now I was just going to have a quick poke around some other locations because I wonder if this volcanic region is in fact referring to the area to the far south or the area to the far north, which I didn't explore too much. But I, re I remember it was quite deep and there were quite a lot of volcanic vents. So I have a small hunch. Here though, look, here's the corpse of that sea dragon. What on earth is going on with the HUD? Weird. That's the one that caused the incident. Let's just stop and recharge for a minute. Get a bit of power while we wait. Let's just sit here for a second, turn the engine off. Make sure we just engine powering down. Just take advantage of the geothermal energy that's here. How is everyone doing? You all okay? Wow, quite a few viewers once again. Everyone having a nice weekend? Please know that if uh, yes, if you're just joining from YouTube, I've just finished the latest YouTube project. Uh, currently, it's available to the patrons and the Twitch subs. I sent out the link last night. Yeah, I think they enjoy it. I think getting some feedback, which is good. I'll certainly do a little tweak and then do another render, I think. Well, I want to change the ending anyway. Um, I wasn't too happy with the ending. Thank you, Carmax and Warsa. Thank you very much. Oh, ZF Social is in the chat, everyone. Hi there, Social. You're smoking some chicken for dinner. Ooh, nice. Yeah. 
Um, have a word with one of the mods, JT Kello, and if you ask very nicely and politely, they might be able to hook you up. Mm. It's taking a while. Right. Mm. So yeah, over here things are fine, just chilling out. Um, if you'll forgive me, I'm probably going to take a few days to just play games and stream and totally not do editing just to recharge the batteries, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else is going on? Um, going to be doing some Team Fortress tomorrow evening with the ZF Clan. That's fun. Enjoy that. Um, yeah, just hanging out, really. <clears throat> Need to go for a jog after the stream. Get my fat ass running. Although my headphones broke. I have these little ear hook headphones that stop. Yeah, they don't fall out. But they broke, they snapped in my pocket, so bugger. Just gonna have to run whilst screaming internally. That'll keep me occupied. I know, boo potato. Yeah, I I know. Oops. Uh is this supposed to be yes yeah, fine. Just the geothermal activity. Uh, and potatoes? Vital signs stabilizing. Eat some potatoes. Plant one of them. Alright. Yummy. Okay. Do I have any spare seeds? I do. Just replant these. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you, a dead guy and SW Dharamic. Thank you kindly. Thank you very much. All right. Um, not really, Kush. Not really. That should be good enough for now, I reckon. Well, I'm I'm heading. I'm hoping to go to another volcanic zone, so we should be all right. Yeah, let's go. Engine powering up. Powering up engine. Give it a save. Okay. Uh, dead guy just finished an essay on a disease which impacts all farm salmon species. Oh no. I hope they're okay. The salmon. It's gonna be tough for them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Thank you, um, Feld Marshal Jesus. Thank you, Feld. Thank you kindly. Is this the right way? No, where's the... Sorry, bear with me. Turn this way. Find the body of the dragon. Then head past its head towards the research facility. There it is. So there's the skeleton. So we'll head that way. There's the alien facility. Smashed to bits. Okay. Nice and careful. There it is. This, well, it hasn't rendered yet. There we go. So this was their containment facility where one sample escaped. Don't know what that sample was, but it ended up spreading the bacteria across the planet, initiating a quarantine. So we're going to move out here and then we're going to head north and check out the area of volcanic activity just north of the turret. I suspect there might be volcanic vents at the right depth for another alien facility. I might be wrong, but let's have an explore. Just got a hunch. Okay. Ah. Yeah, I do want to go fishing again. It's getting a bit colder now though. Carp in particular get a bit fussy when the temperature drops. 
Okay. There's another Leviathan class creature. Slow ahead. Uh, it's low. Silent running. Rig for silent running. Really? Have I tried VR fishing with the index yet? Not yet. Not yet. It's just a juvenile. It's a ghost reaper. We should be alright. Nothing to worry about. Thank you, Big Buster. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's somewhere in your settings, Tormoran. So, under your settings, notifications. And then I should be able to send you emails to the same... Bloody hell. To the same email that you, you've got on Twitch. Ghost Leviathan, not Ghost Reaper? Is it not a Ghost Reaper? Because the Leviathan, it, the Leviathan is just the name of the class, right? As in a reef back is a leviathan. Is that not a, a reaper, but a ghost one? I suppose it does look quite different in the mouth, doesn't it? It's got more of like a battering ram face than it does... Like a, sorry, like a hammerhead shark face. Then I'm going to grab you with my face and eat you. Thank you, Pickle Tiger. Thank you for doing that. A ghost reaper is a type of pepper. Indeed, but I thought that was the name in the game. Okay. So it's a ghost. Okay, so there's the exit to the cave. And then we're just going to take a sharp left and head, uh, yeah, following the contours of the terrain pretty much directly north and see if I can find that other volcanic region. Again, might be wrong. Probably uh, There's probably a bunch of people seething in the back of the chat going, yeah, he's wrong. Just want to have a look. And again, there's always a bunch of people seething in the back of the chat. And his name is Duxlow. Yeah, you heard. He just went, what? Thank you, Mr. Raccoon. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. <sighs> and up we go. Lovely jubbly. Leave the cave of the terror we. Oops, meant to do that, it's fine. So, now give it a save. Duxlow says he was currently typing out something, but now he has to erase it all. Uh huh. So, where am I going? So, this is east. So, can you see lots of volcanic activity? So, east, and then we'll turn north around here. So I need to try and look for a place with the right depth as well. Volcanic activity and quite deep. Oh, there's a reaper up there. Hello. Let's just pop her into silent running for a second. Reaper silent running. A head slow. A head slow. Check these outer cameras. Let's watch that cheeky bastard. We're okay. Back to normal. The head standard. Head standard. So can we find the bloody fish? Stupid. Can we find the right depth? So we're going north now. So we're down at 419 meters. Probably the edge of the map, isn't it? If we follow this, yeah, that the, that's the edge of the map. So it just sinks off into an abyssal plain, way beyond crush depth. Thank you, Jericho. Thank you very much. So let's follow this way. So where are we going now? We're going. Uh, we're going westbound. Okay. Bye-bye. Is this 
something? No. Just a small cave. Nothing in here. Ping. No, nothing in here. Just an in just a cave to be like, oh, it's a cave. This way. Should be okay. Just keep. Oh, let's, yeah, take a quick right. So I'm looking for a, a nice deep zone with lots of volcanic activity. from there. Stay away from the scary abyss. Watch out for that warper. Oh, hello, golden peeper. Oh dear, hello. Reaper Silent for running, silent slow mo. Watch out for the reaper. Watch out for the reaper. Lest you get bitten on the bum. And on the everything. Thank you, Garflame. Thank you very much, Garflame. We're going west right now. There's another Reaper. Holy shit. Reaper Central, folks. What was that sound? So we're not at the depth that we need. Whoa, there's so many of them. Shh. Ooh, what's that there? Is that the turret, I wonder? An alien facility. That could be the base of the turret. Probably, based on where we are. Nice and steady. Volcanic activity, but we're not quite at the depth. In fact, we're very shallow. Shimmy over here for the bed. No, we're okay. Are we okay? We just got bit. Let's go up. We're fine. We're fine. Just gave us a little love bite. That's all. So I'm guessing this is probably the base of the defensive turret. Let's have a look. Can we surface for a second? Yes, look, that's the turret, isn't it? So what's that then? Is it broken off, or...? Ooh. Cool, so I guess, yeah. Oopsie. <laughs> In the late game, this is where we can visit. We want to bring our... Yeah, so this is the... The chamber with it that we saw in the, at the beginning, you remember? Inside the turret that shot down the sunbeam. Cool. Yeah, nice. Right, anyway. Silent running off. Reverse. Hmm. Oops. So what's that down there? That doesn't look related to the turret. Could that be one of the two sanctuary positions that was mentioned on the map? It doesn't look like it's been ripped off. It was placed there. Why? Stand by. It's 
Is there a way in? Fuck. The torch is rubbish. Take a look. Oopsie, didn't mean to do that. Go up a bit. Let's have a quick mosey around. Let's see what's in there, eh? Hold here. Engine off. Engine powering down. Uh, that's meant to be there. It's fine. Uh, we have damage to the front of the vessel. Let's get that fixed at the same time. Stepping out at night into reaper-filled waters is probably not the smartest move. But here we are. Find the damage. Where's Skywalker? An excellent question. I ask it myself frequently. For those who are not sure about the reference, it's referring to a game of Star Wars Supremacy that I played a few years ago that I would love to turn to a, into a video one day when I have the time. It concerns a playthrough of the game where you play as either the Rebellion or the Empire. If you play as the Rebellion, then you have to play sneaky and move your... It's very much like a card game, I suppose. Not really a card game, but... It may as well be, where you move agents around and take planets with diplomacy, and it's all very old Star Wars, back before the Phantom Menace. If you play as the Rebels, you've got to be all sneaky, and you've got to move agents away from the uh, Empire, for example. You've got to keep Luke Skywalker safe. And I chose to play as the, as the Empire for one of my playthroughs. One of the victory conditions for the Empire is to capture the leadership of the Rebel Alliance, destroy their headquarters, and capture Luke Skywalker. The first two were fine. Blew the living shit out of the headquarters with Thai bombers, located Leia Organa, located Mon Mothma, threw them all in prison, guarded by stormtroopers, etc, etc. Luke Skywalker, though, bugger all. Nothing. Not a sausage. Went from planet to planet, Invested in huge spy networks, sending missions everywhere to try and find Skywalker. But the stream, for hours, was a chorus of me just saying, Where the fuck is Skywalker? I guess there's no way in here. Unless you can get from the top. It got to the point where, out of desperation, I just started occupying world after world in the, in the name of the Empire. Not because I necessarily wanted these worlds, but because... You weren't allowed to place an enemy agent on a world if you didn't own it. So, so you could do a mission on there, but the mission don't say, for example, if you have Coruscant, if the Empire have Coruscant, you can send rebel agents to Coruscant, but you know, um, on mission, they can't just hang out there. So I just started taking over planet after planet, sector after sector, in their hundreds, just to try and deny territory for where, wherever Skywalker was finding, was hiding. And it got silly. It got really, really silly. I went from sector to sector with millions of stormtroopers just taking over world after world, searching everywhere, even under the kitchen sinks. No Skywalker. It even got to the point where there was only one sector left. That's ten planets. Ten major planets. And I went planet to planet with the Death Star itself in tow. This is how far we were in the playthrough. I had a Death Star along with scores of Star Destroyers and, again, millions, if not billions, of Stormtroopers. Eventually, we reached the final world. There was only one planet left, which means by process of elimination, as in the entire galaxy was owned by the Galactic Empire, there was no neutral safe harbour. It was this planet or nowhere. So I blew it up with the Death Star. It was the only place that Luke Skywalker could be, hide could be hiding on, so I blew it up with the Death Star. Now, how the way the game works is that you can't actually kill a lore character, 
um, they're invincible. So they go into an injured state, and then when they're injured, you can capture them easily because their stats are really really low. So I blew it up with the Death Star, knowing that if Skywalker was hiding on the world, he would just be injured and I capture him. Nothing. Still no Skywalker. There was there was literally nowhere to go. There was nowhere in the like people my, rebel agents were still randomly escaping prison, but there was nowhere for them to run. Absolutely everywhere in on this entire map was green. So they just submit themselves back to custody immediately cuz it's over. No fucking Skywalker. It turns out eventually I realized what had happened uh, insofar as what the how the, uh, the game have the game was concerned um, he was basically stuck in a diplomatic mission loop what had happened was is that a planet was not on the side of the alliance so he was continually trying to, to persuade it with diplomacy but there led there led to be a running joke throughout the chat that Skywalker had joined the empire and was running my prison which explains why the rebel agents were escaping so bloody frequently cuz lieutenant Skywalker was making his way up the ranks in the Imperial detention system. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, where the fuck is Skywalker became a continual, like, channel-specific meme. Fucking Skywalker. Engine Took over the entire galaxy just to find that motherfucker. Anyway, save. Uh, okay, I guess that's nothing. I couldn't get in there. Let's ignore it then. Right. So. Is that just the scary abyss? Does that just lead to nowhere or can I actually go someplace? We can go quite deep with this sub. We shouldn't be shy. So, I'm guessing... So Yeah, this is the far east, aren't we? So near the defensive laser that shot down the sunbeam. So I want to find... No, that's just the abyss. Nothing. So let's go up and round and over. So to the north side, there was this... Oh, wow, I see. It's the peeper from inside the ship. That's what's doing the golden trail. Oh, what's that? It's a reef back. Oh, creepy. That's the turret. So let's go over here and then go to that north zone and see if that one fits the bill. I can hear a leviathan in front of me somewhere. What game? Uh, it was called Star Wars Supremacy. It was released in like 1997. Uh, it changed its name later to Star Wars Rebellion. It was one of those games from sort of original tri trilogy before the prequels. Before the dark days, before the Empire. Okay, so kelp forest here. First results are a board game. No, it's not a board game, it's a PC game. It does look a lot like a board game, to be honest. Right, so the weird islands. Here we go. So we, I really haven't explored this area much. So let's have a butcher's, shall we? Also, I need drink. I need to drink. Let's go eat some melons. Have I played Shadows of the Empire? No, alas, every time I do, I keep getting put in the mood to play Supremacy. Because they're very, very similar. Vital signs stabilizing. Nom nom nom. Okay. So let's go down and see what we can find. Let's have a good explore. What's my power reserve? 40%. We need to find a volcanic thing just for the sake of the power. Let's ping. Ping. Ooh, islands. I've already explored that piece of debris. Sorry, what did I say? Did I say Shadows of the Empire? Sorry, my bad. 
Um, yes, uh, that's from like the N64 back in the day, isn't it? Um, Shadows of War, isn't it? Empire at War? Something at War. Some people are at War. Don't know who they are, but they're at War. Oh, hang on, it's getting a bit tight here. Floating islands. Creepy. Very zen. From Half-Life. Switch off the ping. 33% power. Let's find a volcanic vent. Ooh, look at that. Floaty. Creepy, but floaty. Uh, it keeps going lower. Is there anything below? Or? It does indeed stop. Imagine, imagine having a base down here. Uh, so we're down to... Even this is quite shallow. I watched The Mandalorian. Alas, no. I hear good things, though. But I'm not really interested in the Disney Star Wars, I'm afraid. Um, even though I hear good things. The head standard. I used to be pretty big on Star Wars, but then the Disney thing happened. It was got a bit stupid. Um, I think it was... It, uh, forgive me. I think it was mainly when they said, no expanded universe. Obviously, the expanded universe isn't very good, but it's not really the point. It's more... It sets the precedent. It sets a shitty precedent. I'm just gonna try and recharge if I can. In that, well, there's no point getting attached to this then. If you could just change it to your heart's content. Is this working? It is, right? Thirty-two percent. Yeah, thirty. It's going up steadily. Can I sleep? If I were to get a bit of, do I have the materials to sleep? What am I doing? Inventory, habitat builder. Can I build a bed? Uh, double bed, titanium and fiber mesh. Damn, I don't think I have the fiber mesh, do I? Uh, shit. No, I don't. Indeed, Chaos. I'm just chilling this weekend. Although, that being said, I do want to go and take a break soon and go for a jog. Stretch my legs. That would be nice. Abraham uh, understands the logic for wiping out the EU, but it was still a silly move. Just blanket wipe it out of cannon in one swoop. Indeed. Perhaps it would be less um, less of a problem if uh, if the subsequent product was great, but it kind of wasn't, was it? It was kind of kind of poop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can go out for exercise. Um, I'm a rat. We're not, like, locked in for the lockdown. It just means businesses close and stay the fuck away from each other. I'm just going to wait here for a moment. Thank you, Aviator. Thank you very much. Turn the engine off. Save some power. Engine powering down. Right. Like, I know I rant about it a lot, but, for example, what they did with, um, you know, they, they put in the Death Star plans. So they erased Kyle Katarn, but they put in Jin Erso. And then what? Just, you know, she just got pulled around from point to point. Her lip quivered a bit, and then she died. That was it? That, 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 that was it? It's like, Kyle Katarn for that? It felt so, you know... Like, why, why not just pick the best... Instead of wiping out the expanded universe, pick the best bits. Doesn't mean you have to take Kyle Katarn, but for Christ's sake, don't fucking, you know, that was... That was what you used instead. Yeah. Yeah, basically. She turned up on screen, her lip quibbled a bit, it quibbled a bit, then Darth Vader turned up and saved the film at the 11th hour. If I said her name a moment ago, would any of you have remembered it? Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Sorry, if I hadn't said her name a moment ago. Jin Erso, the lady uh, along with the expendables that got the Death Star plans instead of Kyle Katarn, who got the Death Star plans very famously. Thank you, Red Jack. Thank you very much, Red Jack. 
waiting here to let the ship recharge and then I'll keep exploring. Cool biome though. I once had a base in this biome. Creepy. Hmm. Indeed, the robot character was all... Yeah, the, there are moments of brilliance in there, but it's just, it just, it's covered in such tripe. It really is. There are small glimpses of brilliance, but then it's just, it's fucked. Yes, indeed, Mag. Mm. Um, I don't think so, Gargoyle. Not as far as I know. Hmm. Change base look? Eh, probably not. I think I'm all right where I am. Okay. Right, how's the power? Yeah, good enough, 64. Engine powering up. Powering up. Okay, and we're off. So, we're going to go, so not south, so come about. We want to go north-west, I believe. Right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, sorry, the Expanded Universe, EU. Yeah, yeah. I know it's confusing, there's so many acronyms. <laughs> Thank you, Bitwire. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Ah, this is it. This is what I wanted to have a look at. So I, I was here briefly, but only briefly. So there's a whole blood vine like, area untouched. I was just curious. I was going to have a sweep around and see how deep it goes. So let's do that. And don't get stuck on the back of the... Thing. We're okay, we're okay. The reason I'm curious is um, about the depth is that I saw a full grown adult ghost leviathan, which is like, whoa! Which maybe implies that this place is a bit more intriguing than just a. Eh, whatever, it's just another biome to the north who gives a shit. Does this go anywhere? those things. There it is. What's our depth? So just about past 500. Thank you, um, Brody Yo. Thank you very much, Brody Yo. Thank you kindly. here before, wasn't I? More of these trees where the ghost leviathans plant their, plant their eggs. There's another one in here. Careful. Silent running. For silent running. And it's low. Maneuver carefully. Thank you, Brodio. Brodio, even. I do need to ping, but I can't fucking see. Okay, does that lead anywhere, or is that just a dead end? Looks like a. No, it keeps on going. Nice and careful, nice and careful. Up a bit, up a bit, up a bit. Don't scrape the paint. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're okay. We're okay. Yeah, it goes down. So I wonder if it's just, just going to return us to the same location as before, or maybe take us somewhere new. Let's explore, shall we? Careful. I saw something. Hundred and seventy meters. A 
<laughs> no, all roads lead back to the research centre, don't they? We're back here again. Shit. Bugger. I thought I had a lead. So I guess it is down there in the lava tube. Hmm. Okay. Let's commit then. Let's go back and have a look then. I must have been wrong from the beginning. No worries. Well, this time we'll head via the tree. Maybe coming in from a different angle will let us spot something we didn't see before. Right. The head's down. Head's down at speed. So for those joining the stream, this enormous coral thing in front of us is a tree where the ghost leviathans plant their eggs. It's not entirely clear what causes them to hatch, what conditions need to be met. But it's pretty beautiful. About to pass 900 meters. We go down, we take a hard left, move down into the uh, magma chamber and then watch out for the dragons try not to get eaten eh down we go thank you Delta thank you for saying so glad you think so let me know if you have any feedback in the comments I promise I do read it all I need, to have, need to spend a few days going through my inbox as well sorry if you send me a message over the last well forever I've just got thousands, thousands and thousands. I need to spend more time going through them. Okay, so it was a hard right, wasn't it? Here we are. Entering the magma chamber. Careful. Careful. Careful, 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 careful. 45% power. Why are we still on silent running? Indeed, it's the peeper in the aquarium. I thought it was coming from outside the hull as well, but no, no, it's in the, um, it's inside the sub. Forward. Thank you, Pickle. Yes, I did get it, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Yes Papa and Sonny Block. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. to hell. Okay, here's the lava chamber. So we go down from here. Let's move in the opposite direction this time, just in case we see something we didn't see going clockwise, eh? go down to what looks like the containment facility. Hopefully 
the dragon hasn't seen us yet. Sign of run, solar off, sonar off, it's slow. Dragon's eating something. Just stay nice and quiet and we'll be fine. Can't turn them off and on. do a counterclockwise lap of the volcano looking for anything in, near the center of the magma chamber and I'm going to make my way further out gradually. Hello. He or she is feeding right now. So how about we leave them the fuck alone, eh? in there last time one of my power cells is bleeping I need to stay on silent running Well, technically it's all the Volcano Colonel Coffee, but we're clearly in a magma chamber. This huge... So this is effectively the, the magma poking itself up again and cooling, forming these huge, beautiful spires. You get these here on Earth as well. Lots of uh, lovely drone footage of tube worms growing along the sides of these things as volcanoes try to refill themselves. Well, not try to refill themselves necessarily, but, you know, get larger on the seafloor. Indeed, I did have a look down the top of the mountain. I couldn't see anything of note. I could try again. It's a big mountain. Thirty-one percent power. Slow and steady. Normally, the alien technology is glowing quite obviously, and I did see something glowing near the roof, but I'm not sure if it was a a glitch because I flew up there a while ago and I couldn't see anything of note. Stand by. Does that make sense? If there's a tunnel down here, then what was that tunnel that I saw a minute ago? Oh, heads up. I see an archway. Heads up, folks. I think we've got a winner. I see it's been absorbed by the magma. That's why it wasn't obvious. Look. This facility must have stood in the middle of the room. How much of it has been absorbed? Jesus, it's been swallowed up by the magma. Okay, stand by. Uh, engine off. Engine off silent down. running. She'll stay quiet. Lights off. Yeah, keep it quiet. Having a quick bite to eat before I leave. There we go. Hydration and, and food. Detecting alien materials hmm. and a massive energy signature. Reading originates within the natural structure at the center of this chamber. Massive energy signature. The thermal site? Not sure. Anyway, for the people who are joining the stream, we're here in the middle of a volcano, an underwater volcano. Looking for samples of... Well, a leviathan species that is apparently highly resistant to the bacteria we're dying from. We 
We thought it would be dead. This was a thousand years ago when the containment failed. But something's talking to us. Something's speaking to us through the water. Not that thing either. surface. Let's keep exploring. We need a bone sample of whatever it was they were studying. Cell for the specimen. It's off. Off. Well, that's ominous. So they were studying something nearby called the Sea Emperor, but I don't know if this is related to it. Pretty sure that thing was dead. Pretty sure I thought this thing was dead, but I guess it's still alive and talking to me. Female. The Watchers. The Warpers. Okay, I bought this, eh? Access the, the, we can access the thermal facility below. Maybe disable the planet. Come here to me. It's sentient. Over a thousand years it's been stuck here after they did whatever it is they did to it. But why keep it contained like this? Holy shit, that's a lot. Okay, I'm guessing this is probably the energy signature. That's a huge amount of power. Bloody hell. Another gate, like the one on the surface. I can get one. Stand by. Thank you, PR Medic. Thank you very much. <gasps> 
drill hand installed. If any aliens are watching through their AI constructs, they're going to be aghast at this. Is that monkey, sorry, is that ape using a drill on the battery pack? Yes, it is, sir. Why is it doing that? Don't know. Hasn't figured out how to use the tool mounted on the side of the, of the container. Yeah. No? Did that? Oh, it's in the pack of the machine. Oops. Why is it running back? I didn't realize that it's in the pack of its machine. Is it stupid? Yes, sir. I found these on the surface. We could move from point to point. I wonder where this is taking me. Do I step into it now? Hold the phone. Let's see what's below. Another data bank. Data. Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was extracted to construct the alien power facility. It, it has been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. Genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating from around 10,000 to 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record, on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far on 4546B. Really? So the ones that they bought here are invasive species? Hmm. Unusually, unusually low overlap, so the species might not be native. Extinction, extinction event. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentrations of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event killing off a majority of, uh, of species and forcing a rapid adaption among many of the survivors. Okay. A thousand years ago was the same time as the as the Kara virus escaped. So what does that mean? Thank you, Nitsi. Thank you very much. Thank you. But more specifically, what does it mean in terms of as in what the world has adapted against the bacteria? The species that are here exist in spite of it? I don't have another one of these. Thank you, Deflated. Thank you very much. Indeed, Kara, the bacteria. So, a thousand years ago, the aliens were experimenting on it here and it got out. They fucked up and it got out. So it massively, it hugely, it changed 4546B. Anything up here to explore? Just another window to the outside, another way in. Okay. So through the teleport, I guess? Gotta take the suit. Just in case I can't go back. I don't know if the other side is intact or not. So last time I went from island to island. Where would it take me now? Holy shit. Okay. We're back in the turret. So we've moved. We've moved quite far up. Well, down up to 91 meters, so all the way back up to the surface. We're inside the turret housing, the turret that shot down the sunbeam. Okay. So it's an easy way to get back up if needs be. And get back down again without the submersible. 
Let's go back inside. So stand by. What would it take to manufacture another one of those purple tablets? Just diamonds? Do I not have some of those in the Cyclops? Thank you, Alchemisto. Thank you very much. Stand by. Yep, sir, the monkey's back. It's ripping up a big chunk of our battery deposits. No room. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. So we cannot proceed without a purple a purple tablet. We should be able to make one if we just pop back to the Cyclops quickly. Give it a save. We'll swing back. Shouldn't take a moment. And we should be able to proceed further. And we're off. Stand by. Identified creature eggs. Okay. I believe we have a bit of diamond. If we don't, we're in a volcano. Diamond. Can you replicate the alien tablet? You can. Alright. joining the stream, we're inside a massive volcano that appears to be the location, the storage location of a specimen that a thousand years ago an unknown enigmatic alien race were experimenting on to try and find a cure for their bacterial plague that had decimated their species. A plague called Kara. Whatever it is is housed within here and it's talking to me. It's speaking to me somehow through the water, telling me to come closer. And we're about to unlock its prison. Thank you, Banty and Prime. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just realised I should have had a drink of water. Give it a save. The alien data didn't say anything so far about it being locked up for any reason beyond its immunity to th the bacteria. Not that it has some inherent danger. Here goes nothing.
I see. This is the thermal plant. Is the containment below? This system is directly converting local thermal energy into electrical current at 90% efficiency. Most of this ener energy is being stored in the battery-like devices within the plant itself, each of which holds enough power, uh, enough to power a small city for a year. Some of it, however, is being drained off, presumably as it is distributed to other f uh, facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and, uh, given current understanding of the mechanisms involved, uninterruptible. Let's see about that. Integrating new PDA data. Primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. Primary containment facility. A power router in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. Primary containment facility location updated. Constructed within a natural chasm connected to this cave network. South southeast. Area of volcanic activity. Depth 1.4 kilometers. Power distribution. Self warping quarantine enforcement units. 5%. Those are the warpers. Arch network. 10%. Those are the teleports. Sanctuaries Alpha, Beta, and Kappa, 10%. Those are unknown to me. Quarantine Enforcement Platform, 35%. That's the turret. Disease Research Facility, offline. It's been destroyed. We found its remnants. Primary Containment Facility, 20%. That's below our feet. Reserve, 20%. There is no clear way to interrupt the power flow. 35% of the power is being routed to the turret. Oh, what the fuck? a lot like a replicator from Stargate. Alien robot. This device is of alien origin. No. <gasps> Ow! And it's a bitey bastard. Do you mind? Didn't like being scanned. It's, uh, it's low threat is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. Design. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant uh, in its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow it to traverse floors, walls and ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are few moving parts rendering this construct, construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable ion-based power reserve ensures it continues to operate. Immobilize and return to Altera for, for mutual profit. Not doing that. Fuck Altera. Ah. Synthesizing ion power source from alien data. Good. Stored to data bank. So, we can now produce the power cores that we need to build the middle section of the rocket. It has been possible to extract useful information regarding the alien ion power. Regarding alien ion power, even. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an ion cube into an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Use, using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints, which leverage, I think, did that say leverage? Yes, which leverage advanced ionic energy to uh, last considerably longer. Okay, what would it require to build two of these? We need them for the rocket. Two ion batteries and silicon rubber. Ion batteries, ion cube, gold and silver. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We have the middle section of the rocket. Okay. I'm very curious to see what's at the middle of this facility. But I need to go for a jog. Thank you, Geordie. Let's continue a little bit more.
Just a little bit more. Although, if you could humour me... Am I stuck? No. If you could humour me just a minute, I'm desperate for a wee-wee. I'll just get back to the Cyclops. Am I stuck? Are we okay? What's going on? My prawn suit appears to be having trouble. Is it okay? We're okay. How weird. Right, bear with me. Okay, so my mistake. This isn't the, the containment facility like I thought it was. This tiny little building is the thermal facility. I figured the massive building below would be the power plant. This thing would be a containment cell. This thing is just the power plant. So that huge building is the thing only taking 20%. Okay. Why huge building down there? Right. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Back to the Cyclops we go. Let's figure out what's at the heart of the mystery, shall we, folks? Yep, let me just get back to the Cyclops and I'll take a wee-wee. Fuck it, legs are stuck. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Don't I need the blue crystals? Uh, we do, but I have quite a few of them in storage already. Get the jetpack upgrade for the prawn. Be easier, man easier to maneuver, eh? Lucky hell. Let's perfect. Let's perfect on that one, eh? Fuck's sake. Stop it. Bloody stupid bloody fuck. Stop it. Yep. First try. Thank you, Jojo. Thank you. Have a drink. Lights on, please. Drink. Bish bash posh. Vital signs stabilizing. Right. Okay. Ah, oh, bloody leeches. Right. Um, should be fine. If that starts flashing red and smoking, we could be in trouble. Back in just one moment, just going for a tinkle.
Okay, hi there folks. Sorry for the short break there, I just uh, went to grab a drink and go to the toilet. So, if you're just joining the stream, let's go deeper into this volcano and figure out exactly what that voice is, shall we? Power reserves at 42%. Engine power Bringing the engine power. online. Okay. Silent rig status is online. Running. Dog's status is standby mode. Engines reverse at slow speed. Okay, the waters look clear, no sign of the dragon. Let's go. So, we'll try to find... What's that there? Is that an egg? No, just gold, I think. No, that, is, that a, is that an egg? Not sure. For fuck's sake. What's hitting me? Fish. We're fine. Here we go, descending into the depths. Current depth is 1,200. We're stuck on something. Impossible. My submarine driving is impeccable. Thank you, Alakum. Thank you very much, Alakum. Thank you sincerely. And thank you, Jester. Thank you. Now reverse cam. You mind? Okay, so ahead of us and just to the left, we'll find what I originally thought was the power plant, but is in fact the containment unit for the specimen that they bought a thousand years ago, that they captured. I think it's supposed to be a sea emperor, a female sea emperor, so a sea empress. Don't know how big that is, but considering the skeleton... Hello. We're not here. We are not here. We are not here right now. Absolutely not here right now. hunting ground. Shit, I'm stuck. Ooh, careful. Careful. We're okay. Thank you, X XBNY. Thank you. So that enormous structure, I assumed, was the power plant. But this thing... Fucking up. We're hit. We're hit. It just smashed us with a claw. Stay still. Fuck. Damage where? Back, near the tail. Head slow. Is it coming around? No, it's moving away. Look at it, this massive facility. So yeah, based on what that terminal said, so after the incident, It said that there was a huge extinction event, presumably caused by the bacteria. So all the things surviving now, I guess, resistant to it? 
or if they were resistant before and that's why they were being studied. It's not, it's not, or both, maybe. These towers are weapons. It does look a bit like that, doesn't it? Almost like it's under siege. Right. Yeah, now that the context is clear and it's not a power station but a prison. Well, a research facility. Okay. Fix the hull, get rid of the leeches. There are one, two, three, four, five leeches. We just deal with that. Then I'll get food, come back aboard. Too hot. Be as quick as I can. Fucking softy little leechy bastards. Fix it. Come on, fix. Fine, we can have one, it's alright. Right. Three? Come off it. It's fine, we can have three. Alright. Drop these off for the minute. Keep these two backup power cells with me in case something goes wrong. Have a quick drink of water. Okay. <laughs> indeed, code, indeed. Uh, drop off. Yeah, we might find additional materials in there. Pop these somewhere. The thing is very, very hungry. Okay. Get some marble melons. For the trip. Okay. Right. Silent running off. Engine off. Engine powering down. Let just the heat of the volcano recharge the batteries. Okay, we're going for a walk. Here we go. Taking away its suit, its uh, drill arm, in case I need to handle things. Thank you, Kra Six Man. Thank you very much, Kra. Here goes nothing. Mind? You, you mind not standing on my junk right now? It's supposed to be a dramatic moment. 
in the plot. Dude, fucking... For real? Right now? Bullshit or we'll be ready when it's ready. Fuck. Jesus. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Life specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Okay. So they were breeding specimens of the sea emperors. What are these? An ancient earth blade dating back to the 13th century Blood samples on the blade match DNA of seven separate heads of state of the period. This evidence supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaging in surreptitious study of less, development spe of less developed species. What's that? This carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from unrecognized natural fiber grown on an unknown planet. It bears striking resemblance to the old earth yin yang symbol. Two competing theories may explain their, their similarity. Aliens visited earth prior to the fourth century BC and influenced the development of ancient Chinese philosophy or the concept of yin and yang is universal since yin and yang describes the fundamental interdependence of seemingly opposite forces. It may be a necessary existential, un existential understanding in some form in all sufficiently developed civilizations. The tapering of two circles, union, into, oppose, and infin infinite infin infinitesimally smaller points. I'm okay, I'll be fine. I'm tired. Don't know why I'm tired. Uh, the finite uh, is one logical way to represent this understanding and may have been developed independently by species other than humans. Words hard. This artifact is unpowered, suggesting it served a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. The pyramid resembles vines spiraling upwards towards the warm blue stone mounted above it. It may represent a plant found on the alien's home world, a building of religious import, or even the gravitational pull of their home solar system. They're stealing works of art? Why display them here in this research facility? This device contains network apparatus and holographic projection units. It was likely used as a communications relay, capturing and projecting the images of the user to a remote location. There do not appear to be any other devices in range. Trophies, maybe? Why? This device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the alien facilities. Although its structure is rather less complex, it may have served a similar purpose, granting security access and storing relevant data, and was thus kept here as a form of legacy support. Bit of an eclectic bunch of items. Another power source. A museum, I guess, but why here? Translation device. <gasps> Ouch! He's not happy. 
Don't do that again. Oh, fuck you. Come here then. Penis. Come on. I love you. Really? Really? Ancient advanced alien versus one 1,000 degree knife? For real? Okay. Translation de device. This device stores linguistic data from over, over 1,000 different languages. The core of the device may allow alien text to be read and translated. Analysis of the onboard data reveals a number of ancient Earth languages, and the term CBHC Live appears many times in the device's data. Its import is unclear. The device uh, seems to be configured to translate into the designer's language. It will not work the other way around. Empty case. <laughs> Nanobots. Scans show some form of advanced nanobot inside this seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially smaller than any developed within the Federation and it is not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, be unwise to release them. Flesh eating, probably. An unusual box. Thank you, Yarragon. Thank you very much. This device contains a highly unstable radioactive isotope, likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it, whilst leaving physical structures intact. Although it would function perfectly well as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize space for later inhabitants. Without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. Biological weapon. Well, or a tool. Crescent artifact. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implanted inside one of the life forms indigenous to 4546b. Its size suggests the subject was a Leviathan class organism. Beyond tracking and broadcasting its location, the implants may also have recorded biological data on the subject, however this data cannot be retrieved. Tracking chip. I'm guessing. Thank you, 2H2K. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Alien building block. This rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts, and there is some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state and is awaiting some kind of activation sequence. Materials such as this may have, uh, may have been fundamental building blocks of the aliens' technology, or even the aliens themselves. For those not familiar, the warpers outside, those weird squid, squid creatures? We found a production line of them in one of the research facilities above, indicating that they're not entirely natural in origin. The aliens modified them. So some sort of breeding program. Cancelled and its specimens destroyed. A strange museum placed here. Where it's language well, it's language for a thousand years. Enzyme 42 Project data. data. According to translated data logs, an indigenous leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the Cara bacterial infection in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose-built habitat for further study. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life form's environmental needs including the import of interdependent flora and fauna via an on-site warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine have been unsuccessful. Thank you, Druidic, and not a sir. Thank you kindly. Enzyme 42. Okay. The Sea Emperors.
keep exploring. I mean, was that it? Did they just did they just give up? There and then, huh? when the quarantine failed? What is it? It looks almost... Is it one of the aliens? No. It's a dead sea emperor. Found preserved in a display case, it was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Physiology. Superficial damage to the, to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Stunted tissues development suggests this organism expired during the removal process. Tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract analysis. It appears the aliens were attempting to formulate the cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in this specimen's di digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. Okay. Sounds like they were doing some fucked up shit. But then again, considering how many died, I mean, according to the data we've received, hundreds upon hu hundreds of, th what was it, hundreds of billions. They were desperate, weren't they? They were, will they were willing to doing ho they, they were willing to do horrible shit to the lesser life forms on other worlds. Is it an egg sack? Ripped open, maybe? Wait. Sea Emperor egg casing. Shell composition. The shell casing is formed from thick layers of carbon composite, suggesting an extensive gestation period. This leviathan species may give birth just once per century, perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Shell casing incisions. Precise incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside prior to full gestation. Analysis. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open this egg and remove the fetus for study. It is also possible that removing it, uh, removal from its parents and natural habitat, some vital condition for the infants to hatch naturally, was not met. It wouldn't surprise me. That can sometimes be the case. And we are finding that with leviathans on 4546b. They need very distinct condi well, specific huh? conditions to hatch. They were forcing it. And this happened a thousand years ago. This thing has been dead for a thousand years. Perfectly preserved. They were very, very desperate. So this creature's been rotting here sentient for a thousand years. With its children ripped from it. Literally ripped from it. It's very Alma Wade, isn't it? It's very fear. <clears throat> Another warp gate. Don't have a spare one. There's one in the suit, though. Okay. Huh? There's yeah. There's some up there. This room appears to be a biological archive. 
storing more than 40 indigenous egg mm -hmm. specimens in different states of development. So yeah, the other facilities were showing them looking, well, quite in depth into the Leviathan specifically. What were they looking at here? I recognize many of these eggs. They exist today. That, however, that's a, um, yeah, we saw that before, that's a sea dragon egg, isn't it? The other facility was destroyed. Its mother destroyed it to get that egg. Well, not that egg, but an egg like it. Sea Emperor Leviathan Research Data. Oh yeah. So we saw what the young one looked like. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upwards to accommodate this species. Feeding and digestion. Alien research data indicates that despite its size, this species feeds entirely on microorganisms it filters from the water, which themselves depend on a complicated ecosystem of plant and animal life. It's not even carnivorous, holy shit. Reproduction. Large ovary-like organs are carried in the creature's middle section, suggesting that like other species on this planet, it produces eggs. However, internal scar tissue indicates probable infertility. Enzyme 42. The emperor manufactures enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food oh. and will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived the outbreak. It would remain to be explained by what mechanism the enzyme is being delivered. What does that mean? Sorry, let me read that again. The substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on the planet survived the outbreak. How? It would remain to be explained by what mechanism the enzyme... Yeah, so what's going on there? They're vomiting it into the... They're vomiting it into the system? Into the oceans? Yeah. Uh, comparative analysis of size and metabolic rates indicate the specimen captured by the researchers was approximately 1,600 years old. Extensive internal and external scar tissue suggests it had lived well into excess of the peak lifespan for its species. Shit. So they captured an old sea empress. While a current, while a healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a cure, it uh, it is unlikely any research subject survived quarantine procedures. So they couldn't get a viable, uh, well, a viable child out of it. It was too old. Hmm. Hmm. Why would they struggle so much? Why would they struggle to replicate it if it's in its stomach acid? I mean, isn't it continually making more stomach acid? Oh, they're pooping it out? Okay. Then surely you can harvest it from the... from the environment. Maybe it's not that simple. The automated facility was moving the eggs. Yeah, it should be easy to harvest, or at least it should be everywhere if it's in their poop. Depends how rare the species is, I guess, but over millions of years? I mean... What bothers me is that it's sentient. It's been sitting here for a thousand years. Alone. We don't know how it's going to react. Thank you, B25 Room. Thank you very much. Possible Scorpy. Yeah, maybe it's not the specimen, the thing talking. Another gate. We'll power them up momentarily.
Thank you, Siggy Relime and um, Syph Phoenix. Thank you, both of you. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. For those just joining the stream, um, probable spoilers ahead, so might not be best to stay tuned in. We're in some sort of, well, prison facility. Research facility? Breeding ground? Some sort of captured Leviathan-class species that had the antidote, well, had the solution to their virus problem. And they were, they were pulling its young out from the egg sacs to study them. Another one. Yeah, another gate. <coughs> so there should just be one last room over here. Thank you, the Mardo. Thank you very much, Mardo. Also, water. I should have put some in the uh, in the prawn. Wait, the peepers, the vent system. Look. This is the vent system that we've been seeing, isn't it? The outflow pipes, the peepers moving through them. The sparkly peepers. Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. The outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back towards the surface. Specimens show no symptoms of infection. All specimens scanned are carrying enzyme 42, which data suggests inhibits the bacterium. Specimen stomach cavities are otherwise empty, suggesting they may have purged the contents before entering the pipes. Assessment. If peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme via the pipe network, this might explain part of the mechanism by which life on 4546B has survived since the bacterial update. Outbreak, even. So, the aliens set this up? So that peepers would continually use these pipes and be exposed to the sea empress? And her bacteria? Well, and her gut. And her, her digestive enzyme. Yes, plot twist. The peepers are the aliens. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Peeper just swims up to you. Hello. You can talk? What? Why didn't you say? You didn't ask. Ventilation control. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility is being automatically controlled independently of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. Inflow. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface on this planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility, while microorganisms and nutrient counts are substantially higher. Outflow. Oxygen-deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. Is this how they're feeding her? They're drawing water from the surface. Plankton. Are the peepers just an accident? Scan it again. Peepers entering the containment facility. The pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. The fish show no signs of distress. The specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter from the surface. Some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Hmm. I wonder if that's what's happening. I wonder if the aliens made an attempt to accommodate for her needs, the Sea Empress, by flooding vast quantities of nutrient-rich water towards her pen. And the peepers are just hitching along for the ride accidentally. Which is what, which is, well, which is how after the outbreak, this section of the planet at least is okay. Maybe. <laughs> Look at them go. They're like, wee! Yeah, they're paying a visit to the Sea Empress. Um, okay, my character is super thirsty. I might need to have quickly leg it back and get something to... Hang on. Something to drink. <coughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, why only peepers? Welcome aboard, Captain. Hmm. Well... 
Second. Working on it. The peepers arrive full and leave empty. Yeah, what's that about? Are they meant to be doing that? One second. Here we go. Welcome up. Go here, just grab some food. Vital signs stabilizing. Just plant a few more, bear with me. Come on, fuck's sake. Huh? Yeah, so the people that are they bringing food to the Empress as well, or? I wonder what she thinks about it. Alright, hang on a minute. I'm terrible at aiming for holes. <laughs> okay. Any more seeds? No, these are rotten. We're okay. We're not getting attacked, we're fine. So yeah, these are the peepers that I kept. Food? Yeah, I've got some cured boomerang. Just eat a few of these. Indeed, lots of people are watching. Welcome indeed. If you're just joining the stream, the plot thickens. We found an underground containment facility built by an alien race trying to study a bacteria that was destroying their species. And it looks like they did some pretty horrible shit to a sentient a leviathan, not one of these. Well, that is a leviathan class. Just, you know, nonchalantly swimming in lava. They were taking her young and studying them and keeping her imprisoned in this this facility in the middle of a volcano. Here. I've got a couple more rooms to explore. So she's calling me. She's asking me to come and see her. Through means unknown, she's talking to the player. I'm guessing she wants me to free her. But if I do, will all life here die? She's the only thing keeping it... Not all death by Kara. Yeah, I'm guessing this is her food source. It's pumping lots of plankton to her. This way? I don't know what this represents. But the peepers are going through the system. Thank you, Mon the Biff. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for your kindness. Pumps still running. I think it's just if I fall down, I can climb up again. Let's check the other room. I think we're about to meet the Sea Empress. Okay. You're right, mate. 
One too many to drink. The fish there for some reason. Yeah, another teleport. Okay. Ooh. Ouch. Thank you, Argos. Thank you, sir. Okay, so fucked up experiments, desperate alien race, containment failure 1,000 years ago, and she was left to rot. blue one. Where the hell did we get a blue one from? We used one of these to enter the facility, but the second one? Can we manufacture them at the Cyclops outside? We can. Kyanite and iron cubes. One moment, please. Can you crouch? He's too tall. Ah, fuck's sake. Fine, we'll drive you. It's too hot outside anyway. One minute. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's the dragon. The, the dragon is doing its thing. It's done it again. It's stuck. Hang on. Yeah, look, I'm sliding. It's just bugged out. And the audio is bugged out as well. Weird, there we go. It's having its moments. Go. Like a glove. Right. Containment. Ion cube. Kyanite, which should just be down here. Uh, nope. Uh, yep. There we go. Take three. That should be enough. Personal equipment. Blue tablet. Rock and roll. Okay. Uh, are any of these sufficiently mature? I'll just eat this one. Down we go. Let's go. Indeed, my hands are infected by the same thing that took out the alien race. Okay. Indeed, Cake, indeed. Also, hi, Cake! Chat, Cake's in the chat. Okay. So, let's meet the Empress. Yeah, I'm not swan diving into that. It's completely still. Carnivorous, so there's that. <gasps> Thank you, Actinon. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, I'm getting the prawn. <laughs> I'm not jumping completely helpless into containment cell of Leviathan class creature. Sorry, note, Leviathan class uh, after which the maximum sizes of Leviathan classes had to be readjusted. Welcome aboard, Captain. Not that this tiny thing is probably going to help me. Over there. Jetpack won't work in the air. The grapple will. No, it won't. Fuck, am I doing this? I mean, fucking. larger than I thought. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 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 Are you here to play? Others came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Okay. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. She's having... she's controlling them. What does she mean? That is a very large creature. Sea Empress. A very old Sea Empress. Probably the oldest. The Enzyme. So they left her to play alone. I'm guessing she's insane. What do we do? Are we jumping? I don't think there's an easy way to get back up if we do. Fuck. Okay. Predators in here. We're jumping. Oh, crap. Never been this deep. We're on the edge of our crush depth. that we saw in containment. Five of them. They're intact. Better tread very carefully. Want me to do? Power them? Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it.
What have we done? My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Okay. She wants freedom from this containment. I wonder if she knows. She doesn't realize. Well, maybe she does. As in, her venting of her enzyme is the only thing that's let the surface world endure. Getting more of them out there can only help 4546B. All the more reason. And I get to live. Scan them. The Sea Emperor's Eggs Shell, uncommonly strong lining, organic growth on the exterior suggests these eggs may be hundreds or thousands of years old. So over a thousand years she's made five of them. Alien Tubes Alien devices penetrate the outer shell layer, likely designed to supply them with nutrients and to isolate them from the surrounding environments. Amniotic, amniotic Sac Like many eggs on 4546B, these do not contain any nutrient supply, which is slowly exhausted by the embryos. Instead, they exist in a form of natural stasis, awaiting appropriate hatching conditions. Fetal organism. There is a highly genetic there is there is high genetic match between these organisms and the Leviathan in the vicinity. They appear to be stable and healthy. It is likely uh, that ideal hatching conditions for the eggs vary considerably from ideal survival conditions for the planet. incubator that they're sitting on. Now maybe the aliens did build this. As in set it up beforehand. The emperor the emperor's specimen's eggs are attached to some form of incubator. In a normal life cycle it seems likely that sea emperors would have buried these eggs in shallower waters where different organic materials in the soil would have triggered a hatching response. The incubator suggests the aliens had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes which, is, which would stimulate the egg's natural hatching environment, sorry, simulate, but were unable to discover the formula. With extensive information on the sea emperors themselves, it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme using indigenous ingredients. However, the only surviving source of that information may be the sea emperor herself. 30 seconds. Copy. So she's been stuck here alone for a thousand years, waiting for the chance to free her young. And without realizing, keeping the entire ecosystem of this world, or at least this crater, alive. Thank you, Lopez and Toxic. She's looking at a gate. She had no means to leave this place to bring the power sources here like I can. This is the tunnel that she was talking about. Thank you. Question is, do I have some in my pack or do I need to go and retrieve more? I have some here. With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Hatching enzymes. Thank you. Near blueprint acquired. Okay. Databank. The Sea Emperor's Life Cycle. 
Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien's bacterium on the sea emperor's natural life cycle. This creature likely, li likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off the high volumes of microorganisms in the shallower waters. Family size would be strictly limited by available food supply. Offspring would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent and perhaps once a once in a lifetime event. The species likely had a preferred environment for egg laying, in fact successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune to the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet, and this would have had catastrophic effects on the Emperor's food supply and survival rates. The symbiotic relationship with this specimen and other life forms likely developed as a direct result of the bacterial infection. Beg your pardon? What? Uh, sorry. The symbiotic relationship between this specimen and other life forms likely developed as a result of the bacterial infection. Those life forms which learnt to keep the Emperor alive survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean in a rough perimeter around the Emperor's location. I see. So is that. Sorry. This material. So this has all been bought here by the peepers, isn't it? And other species that are here, using that network. In exchange, the ones that do, get the enzyme and they survive and reproduce and bring more back themselves. She's made her own little ecosystem here, her own evolutionary pressure. Feed her, she keeps them alive with her enzyme. That is kind of cool. So this room was empty, presumably. All of this material has been bought here over time. Yeah. Selective pressure. Evolution. Okay. Her children are free to leave whenever they want. Nice. Stand by. Tell me more about the enzyme. Is it a blueprint? It's a blueprint. Stand by. From the top? Here. Hatching enzymes. An organic substance derived from plants found in the Emperor's natural breeding grounds, designed to trigger a hatching response. Eye stalk seed, sea crown seed, fungal sample, ghostweed seed, bulb bush sample. I see. Bring these back and we can simulate the hatching conditions for her young, and they can escape. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Alas, sorry to disappoint those watching, but I do feel the need to take a bit of a break. I have been streaming for quite some time. So, this stream we have travelled to the heart of a volcano. We found the containment facility for an enormous leviathan creature, a sea empress, an ancient sea empress, that seems to have entered a symbiotic relationship with the creatures here in this ocean due to the fact that she's naturally immune to the virus, Kara. So all of the organisms that work with her get to survive in this own little, well, ecosystem that they've eked out over a thousand years. And she wants me to help her young hatch and escape into the wider ocean. I'd be happy to. Right! Thank you for watching. I'm gonna head off and go for a jog before it gets a bit too dark. Yeah, we are losing the light, so I'm gonna go for a run. Yeah, and thank you for subbing, if you did. Much appreciated. Thank you. Um, and thank you, Yil, and Seriously Not Funny, and Toxic, and Lopez, and Trick. Thank you, guys. Right. What's the dog doing? She's having a nap over there. So, Please know that on the YouTube front, the latest video is in fact finished. Uh, it's not a bullshittery, it's something a bit different at the moment. It's uh, basically three video essays that I hope you'll like when you see them. Um, so if you are a patron or a Twitch sub, you should have the link. If you don't, if you're a Twitch sub and you don't, and I'm sure if you politely ask one of the mods, they'll be able to hook you up. 
Um, but yes, but if not, it will go public soon anyway. So just bear with me. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed it, it, you'll like it when you see it. And I'll get on with the next bullshittery soon. Okay. All right, let's have a look and see who's doing what. Bear with me. Indeed, this stream was long, blimey. I'm sure I'll be around later this evening, but for now I just need to stretch my legs and get some food and go for a jog. Ah, <sighs> thank you, Terok. Thank you very much, Terok. Okay, let's have a look. I just typed Twatch instead of Twitch. <laughs> right. Okay, ZF. So, uh, ZF Edberg is playing the Dark Pictures Anthology. Cyanide is doing Azetto Corsa Compezioni. Sheep is also doing Azetto Corsa Compezioni. Smeagol is doing Need for Speed. And Joink is playing Half-Life. Um, who haven't I hosted up in a while? Uh, bu 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 when was the last time I hosted up Joink? Ho yeah, Joink is doing some Half-Life, so I'll hand you over to him. So is this the original or a remake? Not sure. I will leave you in his company. Right. So this is ZF Joink running around in Black Mesa. Whoops, I also can't spell Joink. There we go. So this is ZF Joint running around in Black Mesa. Thank you again. All the best. Have a lovely afternoon.